Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Are you really adopted the dark? I was born in it. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. Bazinga. Two in the box. Ready to go. You mean fast? Baby slow. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And we're recording. All right. Do you still have to tell us that now? I don't have to, but I think that's the. <laughs> I think that's what the listeners expect. Sometimes oh, okay. It's nice to change it up. Yeah, I hear that all the time. <laughs> Man, when you don't say that when you record, without Neri. No. Like, hey, we're we're recording. No, no? I know. Yeah, I know that's my thing. I don't know what to tell you. No, that's fine. I mean, it's your show. I also don't hear funny things when I'm not recording, so I'm going to tell you. Ooh, shots fired. <laughs> yeah, all right. So thank you for checking out the uh, Mount Geekmore podcast, your favorite podcast where we talk about, discuss, argue, uh, your fa- uh, your Mount Rushmore, your top four, if you will, of your uh, favorite mo- uh, pop culture subjects. Uh, today's topic in uh, celebration of summer, 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 summer time. Is uh, the Mount Rushmore of uh, your favorite um, uh, summer movies, which is movies that take place during the summer or majority take place during the summer. Mm-hmm. Not or movies. are about summer. Sure. But not movies that came out during the summer. Who, nobody cares. Right. So, um, anyways, with that said, I am Neri Signs. With me, as usual, is Jeff. Oh, that's me. And we have David. Howdy. And we have Stephanie. Oh, yay. Hi. Fr- from the wow. Mamas and Merlot podcast. Wait, super went, fucking excited. No, he went Estefani. That's why. Estefani uh, from the Mamas and Merlot podcast and the What's Up Bro podcast. Hello. Uh, anyways, thank you for checking us out. Um, ha, it's been a minute, but how did you guys make your selections for this uh, for this monster? I go first? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. Um, I don't have anything. I think that's current. I don't think I have anything past the year 2004. Um still in <laughs> i also have I, th- I think the only thing that not that i made my list this way purposely but i i realized as i was making it that i have like a little bit of a personal connection to each one so so movies during the summer with robots yeah. god AI, AI, ai is my number one AI, <laughs> Spoiler <I robots>. <laughs> what else is there in the summer robot movie jetson summer pacific Camp. rim <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla so, against Mecha Godzilla. Um, all right. So, uh, Dave, how did you make your selection? Um, really, I just went with movies that immediately made me think about summer. And um, the ones that immediately came to mind, I think, are the ones that ended up being on my mountain. I, I ended up searching, you know, summer movies and then. Uh, there was your standard fare on there, and um, I I think it's a it's a mixed bag. You know, I have I, this is definitely a me mountain. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ! So they're all in black and white. <laughs> 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 okay, so Roman Holiday is so, there. So what? I, Roman Holiday is great. I didn't actually, know there was a I love that to My movie. Fair Lady that took place in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> Roman Hall. I love Roman Holiday. So. I like more than just Audrey Hepburn movies, by the way. So. You like Clark Gable movies. I love Clark Gable. Yeah. yeah. He's great. And Humphrey Bogart movies. He is, you know, him him and John Wayne. I know. mean, they only play the same, they only, they only play one character. Not true. Yes, Wayne it's had true. range. Okay. He played an army guy and a, a na- western guy. And, and a navy guy. <laughs> <laughs> and once or twice an air force guy. Oh, oh shit. shit. You know, so, you're right. I'm sorry. That's range. <laughs> um, Me? Jeff? Um... I literally ended up picking when it, when we said when Neri said okay we're gonna do summer movies it's three three of the four movies immediately popped into my head mm-hmm. I was gonna pick. Oh, some I kind of helped with the third one. Well, yeah, I kind of helped. Yeah, I would have gotten there. You would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and and they stuck. I was gonna. I was trying some other ones. I filled put put some in. There's one movie that is my favorite movie of all time that is not on my mountain because when I first think of the movie I don't think of it as a summer movie. Right. 
to me personally, I don't think of it as a summer movie, so I didn't put it. I put that had something to do with how I picked my mountain as well. Yeah, like like I I will tell you, I have no movie past 1994. I do have a current movie. <laughs> I on don't my, on my yeah, mountain. I don't. I, don't. I, I, I surprised shit, I don't myself. Have a, I don't have a current movie. I don't have a I current movie. Wow, the old fogey has the. Uh, the You're the youngest movie. one in the room, but okay. Yeah, yeah but not at heart. Yeah, that's true. I have a heart in need of a triple bypass. Jesus, that's. Only because of what you eat, though. That has nothing to do with your age, sir. I had the Impossible Burger. Uh, the Impossible Whopper from uh-huh. from Burger King. Uh-huh. How what, were those two what? buns with vegetables in between? Man, it was fantastic. What is it? What is, I don't, I the don't Impossible know. Burger? The Impossible Burger, no apparently, is a, it's a vegan burger that's supposed to take, taste just like meat. It's like a new vegan thing. Okay. Does it taste, taste like meat? You know what? It tasted a lot like meat. And obviously, but you haven't had meat in a while. It's it's been almost so three years since like. I've had meat. I have to try meat, and compare because um, I get whoppers all the time. It tasted like what I remembered meat tasting like. Okay. Mm. And yeah. I, I was a fan of the whopper. In so, all fairness, people. Because you're human. In all <laughs> fairness, people that have tried it said that it tastes very similar to what a regular hamburger tastes like, or what a regular burger would taste. Like. I wonder what very similar means. I wonder like what that means. I don't know. Like. You know what Maybe I mean? there's like a hint of something. Because else. I've never tasted something and goes, that tastes similar to what it's supposed to taste like. It's like, no, bitch, it's either tastes what it's supposed to taste like or it doesn't. Well, I've we never can... had a very similar. Like, I've yeah. never had a pizza and go, that tastes like oh, a Oh, but pizza. I did that the other day. I actually got a cauliflower pizza crust at Mod Pizza, and it tasted like a flatbread pizza. It didn't taste really any different. Yeah, my trainer is, uh, she's hell-bent on getting me to do all that type of shit. She's like, you can get a cauliflower pizza. Nah, nah, nah. It was and good. I, we, and I was, like, I I was I'm like, look, dude, I, I get it. I, get I was it. really... Like, like zucchini fries, you know, and stuff Zucchini like that, fries yeah. are good, but I like the cauliflower pizza crust. It was, a, it was, I didn't, I forgot that I wasn't eating bread. For how healthy we eat... I, I I can't explain this. It's age. But that's the, that's because you're missing the nutrients. <laughs> it's a bunch of and sugar. We yeah. eat a lot of fucking sugar. Sugar is the number one. Anyways, whatever. Yeah. What, what, what I get into a this is fucking, not yeah. comedy fitness. So yeah, let's move on. Is, um. <laughs> anyway, so I made my selection. There's. I only had. Uh, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight movies that I really thought. Uh, something like I went through all the lists on Google, and I was like, eh, no, not really. Yeah. Not really. I agree. And then there's and most of them are comedies. I have one that's I really have one that's not a comedy. Which uh, is the one I told you. And, yeah. and this is number one. You think that's his number one? I think so. And uh and that's pretty much it. That's why I have now that I said you're gonna change it. I have no I'm not, <laughs> I haven't touched anything. I'm not gonna touch anything. Uh, but he hasn't ranked it yet. I already, no, I did. Oh you did. Yeah. Oh I'm surprised. Why? Because no, you, you right. usually rank like on the fly. Yeah, because you, you actually get As stuff you were talking right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but it's already done. Look, I'll take a screenshot of it no, so no, you can no. see nine twenty four. I'm not changing my list. <laughs> a screenshot because I don't want people to be like, Hey, you change it because I said something. No, that's not true. You what do you mean you people? You people. You know what I mean. Short, hairy people, you know. Um um, anyway, so uh, all right, let's get going. What's number four? Wait, we're at number four. With the fourth pick, number four, round four. I'm in no mood for your wife's crack. Let's get it off. <laughs> Here we go. Am I waiting for something? Yes, that's what you're waiting for. Yeah, for that to finish. Yeah, oh, that, that's it. I don't hear anything. Oh, you don't hear anything? I don't hear anything. Oh, I heard oh, it. Why I'm asking. Yeah, we all heard it. <laughs> that's weird. Where are your headphones? What number is your I'm headphones? I'm number two, I think. Hold on. What number? I can't read from here. Two. That's your microphone. That's not your. Oh, headphones. sorry, my your headphones. Uh, I, hold on. On on the bottom. Nope. You're I'm on one. Oh, okay. One. There you go. All right. You didn't. Yeah. But you didn't hear anything. I didn't hear, but it's fine. I don't need to hear it. I hear you guys, which is what matters. Oh, that's weird, though. Oh, maybe. Oh, uh, that's gonna. Can you do it again so I can hear it. All right. With the yeah. fourth pick. Number four. Round four. I'm in no mood for your wife's crack. Let's get it off. <laughs> Right, Still celebrity death. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Mills Lane. <laughs> okay. I know my truth. That's what I'm going to say. My number four is Crossroads. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> that one was not even on any of the... Okay. So, let me... That so, wasn't what I thought. <laughs> is this your list or Mrs. List? This is my or list. Or Christie's huh? list. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This was, a late, <laughs> this was a late pick in the game. I had another one that I took off when I just remembered about this and remembered it was a summer movie premise is it's a girl road trip movie they make a their it's three friends it's britney <laughs> taryn manning zoe saldana i don't care i'm not gonna take very long 
um, make promises when they're kids that they're going to put this, they bury this like time capsule and on their, the day of their high school graduation, they open it up and they say like whatever they did in there, that's what they were going to do that summer. So this, the day of your high school graduation. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so they take off on this road trip and like it's like a self-discovery girl bonding movie but the points that i wanted to bring up are first of all this is a world where dan Aykroyd and kim cattrall had sex and had britney spears number one i, I believe yeah. it yeah. i mean no dan Aykroyd's not a good looking guy but, but he's not a, have you funny. seen britney spears real dad yeah. No, I know he's disgusting. <laughs> um, but Kim Cattrall, him and a sprinkle you cheese. Think that Dan him and a sprinkle cheese. Are you out of your fucking mind? I'll eat the sprinkle cheese. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll eat the sprinkle cheese before I fucking come near her father. Well, Ugh, yes, gross. No, but but is this a Kim road Cattrall. trip movie it or is a summer movie? It's both because they're doing it after their high school graduation, so it's okay. both. Um, also, Kim, do you think that Kim that Dan Aykroyd could get Kim Cattrall though? I yeah. think he could. I, 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 but I've Kim seen Cattrall is out of reach of. About ninety nine percent of it. No, that actor's funny. What? Yeah. But he's, he's Scarlett the Johansson is engaged to who? But Colin Jost is right a cute then. guy. Uh, Adriana uh, uh, Ariana Grande was uh, engaged to who? No, that guy right. sucks. And he yeah. and Kate Beckinsale had sex with who? No, no, no. I yeah. I don't get the Pete Davidson thing. So Again, funny whatever. guys. I guess. I don't say. It's also Britney in her prime because for me, like, there no was one. no better Britney than like nineteen twenty year old Britney. I agree. Mm. And then there's the... Most pedophiles disagree, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, 19 is an adult, but four okay. Out, that's what I said. Four Most out of five pedo- pedophiles Four agree. out of five pedophiles disagree. <laughs> <laughs> if there's that one pedophile, like, I mean, you know, 19 guys. And young. then there's the iconic I love rock and roll scene in the bar. Of course. Which is... Amazing. Which is the day that music died, according to David. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically what I have to say about it. Crossroads, oh, my number four. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I don't care. I knew, I knew that you guys weren't going to approve of that pick, and I chose it anyway. I know my truth. I, it's I'm, totally, I'm proud of you. It's I, I have totally to applaud fine. you for going, for going with that. I'm going to wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just watch her face. Watch her face. At least they didn't wear one pair of jeans in that movie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so it might not be that in there either. She's giving it to you. Come on. Okay, so... Um, Dave. I, I am going back and forth on my number four until exactly this moment. Oh, so he's flip-flopping. And, yeah, I, I, think, I think I'm going to have to... Okay, so my number four is Friday the 13th, Jason Lives. You picked out of all of them, Jason Lives. That's great. Yes. Well, here's here's why. That's actually my favorite. Here's That's why. Great. Number one, it's, so it's, number I one. I think it's one. the I've best. Really seen okay. What part is that? Part six. Yes. That's the one where he actually becomes supernatural. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's a zombie. Right. That's he's, the... he's basically Frankenstein. They bring yeah. him back, and he's Frankenstein. Right. Uh, but here's the thing: is that all the other movies all have uh, a summer feel to it because it all takes is place there obviously a camp? in a summer camp. Right. Summer but lover. but each blanket only... homicide. But. It... <laughs> But it's only the, the the camp counselors who are in training. Wait, 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 wait. This doesn't count as a summer movie. Of course it does. This takes place in, uh, on Halloween. No, it does not. No, that's Halloween. No. Uh, oh, my God. No, 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 no. <laughs> doesn't he get struck by lightning on the anniversary of his death? Which is the anniversary of his death? It says it on the tombstone. Yeah, but... What's the date? The, the, the thing is, the whole last act takes place in the summer camp while the kids are in the camp. It's a summer camp. Okay. Maybe, was it July fourth? It was like yeah, it was a it was holiday. It had like to be. Yeah. I remember it was like, oh, he died on. Uh, it was like a holiday, when? right? No, he, he, no not... he had to die. No, you're right. He had to die on it was in a the summer, summer because he died when at camp. Did right. Jason Voorhees. Day so... of Jason Voorhees' death. R.I.P. R.I.P. Jason. A... I'm gonna call you Armstrong because this picks a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What? What's the? What's oh, the that's his day? birth. I don't care about his birth. Death. Well, I mean, there, there are kids in the summer camp, you okay. know, and and that to me, that's why this one is most a summer movie because there's there's actual murder going on in a fucking camp know, full of kids. Well, in part two, there were two. Oh, there was no, the it, it was the counselors but training, still, yeah, which yeah. which I was going back and forth between part two and this one. But part six is actually good. But uh, <laughs> I, I like part two as well. No, but it's not good. You may like it, but no, it's... I, I, yeah, well, I'm with you on that. Okay, it may not be a good movie, but, um, but I, I do like it. Everything about this movie, to me, is is fucking awesome. The humor is on point. It's very meta. The the kills are fantastic. It was great, great kills. Yeah. This is the last one I saw, part six. Remember, I went through the marathon. Right. 
and I got through part six, and it was actually a good one. From uh, from part six, it, it starts going downhill again. I mean, I love them all, you know, but to me, this one actually has that summer feel to it. So, okay. So yeah, and and, and like like I said, that the fact that you see, um, I forget her name now, but uh, the the sheriff's daughter run into the camp. She's one of the counselors, and she has to try to round all the kids up and hide them and save them because Jason is fucking coming to the camp. You know, uh, that there's real horror in that, you know, for these children. And Jason walks into the, the, the fucking cabins and these kids are hiding under the fucking bed. It's awesome. Great. Great stuff. Okay. Um, all right. My number. Oh, yeah. Sure. Hey, I'm sorry. Hi. I'm sorry, Jeff. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> sorry, Jeffrey. So my number uh, four is the 1987 classic Summer School. Oh, okay. Starring who we used to love, Mark Harmon, until we found out all those <laughs> things about NCIS. Um, what? what? He's a monster? Yeah, he, apparently he's like a complete dickhead, and, and like he's belittling people and all this stuff. Really? That's why this chick left the show, uh, Abby. The girl who was the, the lab tech. That's one of the reasons she left the show. Really? Yeah. Oh. I'm still picking Summer School, because I love this movie. Um, I was going to say, but you still like Nate, what's his name? Nathan, Nathan Nathan Fillion? Yeah. And there were reports of him being an asshole and this girl crying offset. That uh in Castle, yeah, yeah that yeah. one girl. Yeah. yeah. But you're, that'll, <laughs> it's just a your love for Nathan Fillion yeah. it's overseas. Blinded, but, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like wow 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 wow. I mean they're both assholes, but I mean, one of them is Nathan Fillion. So yeah, so we're gonna okay. suck a dick in that one. Um <laughs> so quick for those of you who have not seen Summer School, quick premise of it is is uh, a gym are, teacher are in Summer School? Huh? Summer school. Not yeah, but beginning. he gets he gets it dumped on him at the last second. Yeah, because he's, it, he's supposed to go. Mark Harmon's supposed to go to Hawaii on a vacation, and right before he leaves, the te- the principal tells him either he teaches summer school or he loses his tenure. So he's like, "Well, I need I want my tenure." So he goes to summer school, and so the summer cl- the class. What year did this come out? Eighty seven. Oh, back when tenure was meant something. Right. Right. Does so, it mean anything now? I mean, they just don't do it anymore. So. So it still means something. It means more now. Yeah, it, mean, it means much more now. Well, yeah, yeah because if, you're, if you have it, yeah, if you, you have it, your grandfather did. Yeah, and yeah. you can basically like kill someone and still keep Which, your job. Which the very premise of the movie is absurd because if you have tenure, you cannot lose it. Right. right. But you know, what, well, but Semantic. they needed something for the movie. Well, of course, There's a guy named Chainsaw in it. Come on. <laughs> um, but so the movies, the the class obviously is full of like the the so, miscreants. The there's one girl that's pregnant. There's like the dumb jock. Mm-hmm. There's the nerdy kid that Very I forgot why club. he got. Why I forgot. I don't remember why he was in was some extra credit or some shit. I think he was. I, I can't remember exactly what the shit. one nerdy kid was. Was it and a gym th- class that he failed gym? Oh, that's I think what it was. And then and then there was like the two guys who remind me of Dave and myself, <laughs> except that we actually have some common sense. <laughs> uh, that they're like the two horror geeks that love what just want to be be the next horror mm-hmm. movie directors, and then. Uh, Chris, Christy Alley's like the love interest, the other teacher that's teaching next door to him. And back when Christy, Christy, yeah, Alley, Christy was Alley was Christy Alley. Luke was talking to. Oh yeah. Um, it's it's just a fun movie. It it it's it's something Christy and I watched it recently and we still loved it. Um, and and it's 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 entertaining. It's got great comedy. It's got fun like those that 1980s, which is a theme in in a couple of the other picks. That 1980s just humor mm-hmm. and like like like. Um, like that crap camp, like like not like the crap, John Hughes like the, humor. Well, it's like that dirty humor that can't really you you wouldn't be able to do those kind of jokes and that kind of mm-hmm. stuff today because people mm-hmm. would. No, the, John Hughes humor is like deep. Yeah, like, yeah it's, not like, it's not I, like fart jokes. Yeah, I just remember one of them, one it's of the funny, lines, he 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 is deep. One of, one of the lines in the um. You don't think John Hughes movie, is funny? Okay. Oh, the, wow. the, okay. I think the movies are very entertaining. But you John don't think Hughes that movies, they're... they're not funny. John Hughes movies, like they're deeper. Like if you watch Say Anything, that's not a comedy. I don't know why the fuck that's rated also, as a comedy. Also, it's not a John Hughes movie. So I thought it was a John Hughes movie. No, that's Cameron, not uh, Cameron Crow. Yeah, you're yeah, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. But, but yeah, no, but you're, you're right. Good. That movie's not so much a comedy as it is like sad drama as fuck. And... Her dad kills himself. Goes to, I've go never to seen jail. Say Anything. Spoiler. That's, that's Go ahead, Jeff. Now you're spoiling. Okay, <laughs> but um, yeah, like the incomparable Dean Cameron's one of the people in it. Um, it and it's just it's just uh, an entertaining movie. It's got great jokes. It's got it's funny. When I think summer, that's one that pops in my head. That's one of the three that immediately popped into my head when we did the topic. So I I went with summer school. I I, I think I think that movie's great. If you haven't seen it, 
recommend watching it because it's a it's a funny movie. Is this cool. the one that no one has in their uh, their iTunes account? You're gonna pick up. I I have the DVD. I don't know if I can transfer it to disc to digital. I can try it. I'll find out and let you know. All right, cool. All right, good. Uh, my number four is the only non comedy oh. in my list. Sorry, was there also directed by Carl Reiner? Oh, right. Oh, right on. The master. He's good. Uh, he's going places. <laughs> yeah, you watch. He's, he's like, watch. I guess he's got a future. He's, he's the director to watch. You got, you got to watch him. <laughs> uh, my number four is the only non-comedy that I have on my list, uh, and it is Summer of Sam. Oh, you put oh, it? Wow. Yeah. That's a great wow. movie. Wow. Yeah. I'm proud that's of you. Why, oh, did we talk about this movie? No, but no. I didn't think I, that's you, left you field it, for me. You put me. it in the, uh, in the chat. And you, no, I said it as a joke oh, in the chat. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I didn't, I didn't, it was that a, Per, directed to because I wasn't. No, I that was in general that. when we were talking about the summer movies. I started naming off just movies with the word summer in them. Oh yeah, no, Summer of Sam is one of my favorite. I think it's one of the most underrated movies. That's a great movie. Um, it really. It, it, first of all, I think it's a Spike Lee movie. If, not, if I'm not mistaken. No, let's do the right thing, which is another great. Summer I'm gonna look No, it but up I think right it's. Now. I think it's up there. I forget who it I'll is. I, right I may be wrong on the director, but. Uh, when I saw Summer of Sam, this Spike was Spike Lee. Yeah, yeah. This was this was my introduction to. Uh, it's a it's based on uh that the, um, Sam whatever son of Sam Sam Summer, the Summer son of Sam, Sam killer yeah killer and killer. so I, it was my introduction Maybe to all of that. I had no idea yeah. about that killer. I had no idea about that serial killer. I had no yeah. idea about mm -hmm. any of that. Uh, and so when I watched Summer of Sam, this would, again when I whenever I watch a movie, I'm like, well, let me do some research, and I did it uh, on on um on son of sam it was pretty fucking nuts man and the way it was shot it was crazy yeah. i thought it was fucking brilliant the way it was shot uh very much not like a spike lee movie right um which i'm not saying i'm not against spike lee i'm just saying it's, it was very different than don't be against spike lee he'll come at you uh, uh hey listen if he comes at us it'd be great for the, someone's talking about someone's it talking. Talking. <laughs> but i just i i just love this movie the way it's shot john leguizamo mia uh uh sorvini Sorvino. Sorvino, yeah, right. I'm sorry. Uh, she was fantastic in it. Yeah. Uh, I love the uh, the paranoia that it showed that that neighborhood had during that time, where everybody was like, "Oh, you know." At one point, there was a conspiracy theory that Reggie Jackson, the New York yeah. Yankee, was the killer mm -hmm. because he was number 44 on his jersey, and Summer and Son of Sam killed everybody with a 44 Magnum. Is like that kind of crazy, but it it was that paranoia that that whole situation was causing and this is back in the days where they didn't have air conditioning and everybody was fucking losing their minds it was super hot right i thought it was a fucking great movie i love that movie man that's a good movie i haven't seen this in a long time i haven't seen it in probably 10 or 15 years if i'm being honest but it was fucking great i remember watching it a couple of times when i did mm. see it and it was just great john leguizamo really mm -hmm. he, he's a he's a very underrated actor so, so i think he has, he, has a, he, has an, yeah. he has an oscar in him bro i think that guy had the right given the right role i really believe john leguizamo has a fucking oscar in him mm -hmm. and uh he's fantastic i think the whole the whole thing is great mm -hmm. one of my favorite lines of that movie was when uh um where they get enough because he he cheats on her left or right and he she he kisses her he's like i felt i tasted her pussy in your lips and i was like oh <laughs> shit <laughs> And the face that he gave, he was like, he was like smelling his breath type of shit. <laughs> it was like fucking fa fantastic. I thought it was great. Good Anyways, pick. Yeah. There's an orgy scene for those of you who are into that. Yes. yes. Every dude. <laughs> <laughs> Every dude. Yeah. That's, so that's my pick. My number four is Summer of Sam. Uh, so we had for four, we had Crossroads, Friday the 13th, part six, uh, Summer School and Summer of Sam. All right. Uh, for number three. Round three. Three is a magic number. Yes, it is. Nice. So, <laughs> I have to get used to this. My number three gave us two treasures. My number three gave us the original Incest Twins. It also gave us a great musical piece called Scotty Doesn't Know. My number three is Euro Trip. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's this is a fun movie. <laughs> this movie is so fun. So the reason that I chose this movie, what, which where I have the personal connection, is that they graduated in 2004 and I graduated in 2004. So I had always growing up, growing up, seeing these movies of like, oh, class of whatever in this movie or in that TV show. So I was always like, oh, when I graduate, it'll be 2004. And I can't wait to see what comes out in 2004 with the class. And this happened to have been it that year. So, but yeah, um, for me, the standout scenes in this movie are like the whole Eastern Europe scene yeah. where <laughs> they're trying to get to Berlin. So the whole premise is this guy is trying to chase down who we thought was his pen pal, Mike. 
that actually turns out to be this girl Mike, and he realizes that the girl is like in love with him so he goes to berlin or he tries to get to berlin to meet her and then they run into their friends that are the twins that are they were doing a backpacking across europe so yeah you guys don't have to watch the movie because <laughs> yeah we do she just spoiled the, the thing too so that's good I like more, <laughs> one of my favorite scenes. One of my favorite scenes from Euro Trip is when they go. We only got like two dollars. Yes, a dollar eighty seven. I saw the I saw yeah. the, the, the clip. A today. nickel. I opened my own hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and a dollar eighty seven because of the exchange rate. The following scene is them in this like penthouse hotel suite with like ushering in all of this like room service, and like one of them is getting a massage, the other one's getting like a custom tailored suit. And they're like, okay, so what do we do now? We have like 45 cents left. And they go to this club and they all drink absinthe. Which that scene is awesome. Yeah. Supposedly makes you hallucinate. And that's when they find the twins making out, yeah. which is really gross. But I, I love the fact that that, that part right there. I, Nick, why, yeah. I, 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 and he slaps the guy in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that movie, like the only, it was on and off my list. But the only reason I, I didn't, because I didn't immediately think of summer movie when I thought of it. That's, that's the so, reason I didn't have it. I didn't even think of it until people started commenting on Facebook. Right. And I was like, Agreed. oh, that is a summer movie. Yeah. Like, but I, and it's definitely a summer movie. I just didn't, it, right. didn't it, it doesn't scream, re- scream to me summer movie. Like, yeah. and it, the thing is, it like would make summer. my list for road trip movies. Fact. Mm-hmm. That's like, hardcore. Like, hard I, I, I'm, 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 it's pretty up there. Like, it's pretty, it's cr- a really, it's really, I was really surprised that the, the Rotten Tomato score was low, but I'm I was, not, wasn't. I'm I mean, but they usually don't like those dumb comedy. Well, just, the other thing, potty humor. Right. The other thing that I realized when I was making my list and like gathering up the contenders is that like, I like potty humor. Like yeah. I like dick jokes, and I think that which is not John Hughes. That's what I'm trying to. Guess. <laughs> John Hughes is so, more of a, like a smart, like right. you know. It's, so you know. the the scene in Vatican City is hilarious too. Well, yeah. with the Pope, with the Pope, the new Pope, the new Pope, yeah. comes out. Yeah, yeah. Not, one of my man, I've seen the movie once, and I remember a lot of yeah. it. To be honest, with you. like fuck. As, as a soccer fan, I my Vinny, the scene with Vinnie Jones when they're when they go onto the Manchester United yeah. bus, and mm-hmm. he's like. Well, if you're a Manchester United fan, sing the fight song. He just starts singing, My baby takes the more. <laughs> and they're like, ah! and they're Singing it together. <laughs> it has, and no one, Frank, and then, Frank, Fred Armisen in the Me Scusi. Yeah, the, that's yes, right. That the, is where that's tunnel. from. Me Scusi. Right. Me Scusi. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and then there's and also the beach. Scotty Doesn't Know, well, which the yeah. singer of Scott, of the band is Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> um, was that his first uh, great cameo? Was that his first? It might I have been. So. I don't. I don't remember him being in a cameo before that. Um, but I could be wrong. Because he's done two after that that have been fantastic. Yeah. Ooh. So and that's all we can play before getting. <laughs> Scotty doesn't know the beyond the end. Me doing it my way every Sunday. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. For those of you who listen on Facebook, welcome back. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, that's my number three year trip. Woo woo! <laughs> Thank you. Touche, touche. All right, uh, Dave. Uh, my number three was actually uh, the first one that came to mind, and it's the Sandlot. It's table. Table. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Uh, my number three is gonna be uh, a movie that Neri just saw yesterday, mm. and it's Wet Hot American Summer. You know, I still haven't seen this. I, I watched it today. I, I, I watched the first half yesterday, and then shit happened. Life happened, and then. Can I tell I you something, it. and you won't hate me? Mm. I thought that this movie was super overrated. So I stand with my case that it's, it's in the top four. Battlestar Galactica. Oh, wait. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Wrong one. Think about it. I didn't know it was this. Mm-hmm. So when I first saw the movie yesterday, I legit was surprised because I thought it was going to be like, uh, I don't know how to say this. I thought it was going to be like a normal movie. Like a normal camp movie. Yeah. This is airplane in camp. Right. Really? Yes. It's like I... out there crazy. Like there's like shit that doesn't make sense happening. Oh, wait. Now this makes sense because she doesn't like airplane either. I oh. don't like airplane. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. If you're saying this is airplane I'm... in summer camp. Yeah. I mean the cast. Right, I the watch. cast the, the, is great. The cast. You have Elizabeth Banks, Paul Rudd, who looks just like he did yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> You've got Ken Marino. You've got Bradley, Cooper's uh, uh, first Bradley role. Cooper in it. Michael Ian Black. Amy like Kohler. a lot of the kids of the hall are in there. Mm-hmm. Um, what's his name? Jimmy Niles. Garofalo. Niles is in it. Um, David Hyde Pierce. David Hyde Pierce. Like the the cast is is it's a great. What's cast. his name from Big Bang Theory? Um, the comic book 
shop owner. The detective. The one that owns oh, the shop. Uh, Chris book. Maloney? That guy? It, That's it, not no, Big Bang Theory. No, 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 I know, no, but the chef. The oh, the chef. Oh, the, oh Chris uh, Maloney is Chris in it. You're yeah. right. Yeah. He's Gene, which Christy and I dressed up as Gene and, and hit the character. I'm not going to spoil because right, yeah. you haven't seen it, unlike some people that ruin entire movies. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's a, it really is. It threw me the fuck off because for the first 10 minutes, it's plays a, it plays a straight movie. It plays yeah. as a straight yeah. movie. And then shit gets crazy real fast, and you go, what the fuck? What? Like it threw me off. Like I had to it, be it's like, all, oh. it, it's 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 literally like airplane, like where it's oh, like this ridiculous stuff just ha- randomly happens. Right. Yeah. Like it's just like hey, out of the hey, crazy. Where's my swimming buddy? Yeah. <laughs> uh, we uh, need to go take a drive. Where are we going? Pizza party. Yeah. I love pizza. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but it's um, great. there's like it's, literally a scene where he was like, "I it's very serious, but I can't talk about it now." Meet me at the picnic table. Ten seconds, <laughs> and then they walk off fucking and set. See, they walk and, out. They walk and, out the scene, and you just see the person just waiting there, like, oh my god, I wonder what's like for seconds. fucking ten seconds, dude. <laughs> and, then she, and then they turn around, and the guy's literally right there, like right like five feet away, away. right there. And, and then com- he's dressed completely different, and with goes, a bunch oh. of people. He goes, oh, 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 thanks for meeting me here. These seconds after I spoke to you, it's so it's very great. airplane. Yeah. And then what I, I love about it is the fact that it it pokes fun, like the scene with the when the the other team comes. Oh, that's great. It pokes fun at all the tro- tropes mm-hmm. that exist in from summer camp movies, summer camp movies okay. and makes fun of them. Like, like, are you guys ready? We got the championship baseball game coming. You guys ready? And then you're gonna like, the underdogs, but we know you can do it, and you can pull out some miracle yeah. trick play oh, at the yeah. last minute. Yeah, he literally goes. <laughs> he goes. He goes. Uh, he goes uh, we weren't sure you were gonna make it because in the beginning there was just a just a lot of a lot of follies and. And mistakes, <laughs> but somehow you just threw a montage of great us, uh, and you just like it was like one of those things where it was pretty fucking like great. It, it it pokes fun at Steph, all. Steph, I don't know if you know this, but you can chuckle into the into the microphone. I'm not laughing. Uh, you know, oh, okay. Um, but but the other so the last thing I'll talk about it. The, the cool thing what they did with it is after the movie. The movie was two thousand one, mm-hmm. and af- um, what they did after is that they released because there's in the beginning of the movie. They, they, they're talking on the stoop before it went because it's, it's the last day of camp. Uh-huh. They talk about. So the uh, whole movie takes place on. On the, the last day of camp. Yeah. So they talk about how. In Molly 10 Shannon's years, in it. Molly Shannon, yeah. Oh, Her character. Um, so she, they, they said, in 10 years, we're all going to meet back here. And there's a whole thing about it. I'm not going to go into it. We're gonna, in 10 years, we're going to meet back here and see where our lives have been. Well, they did it, released a thing for Netflix that it was Wet Hot American Summer 10 years later. They all oh, came okay. back. And they did. It, I don't. I think it was a few episodes. It wasn't a movie. It was like a, another few episodes. Mini series or something. Yeah. And then they released after that the first day of camp, and they all came back to play their younger selves on the first day of camp. <laughs> ten years. So later. it's ten years later. So it's a bunch of them, super old, playing their young selves on the That's first day of camp, so. dressed in the same outfits. Paul Rudd looks exactly the same. Yeah. Right. Paul Rudd hasn't changed. <laughs> but I, I love Wet Hot American Summer. It's good, man. If you like Airplane, if you like that stuff, it's it, it's a great movie to watch. It really threw me off. I was like, "What the fuck am I watching?" I didn't know whether or not he was gonna like it. It was I thought it was gonna be a hit or well, miss because Airplane. I mean, I haven't seen this, but Airplane is very slapsticky. And my assessment of you is that you're not really into slapstick humor. No, I'm into good humor. I'm into good slapstick. Airplane is fantastic. Mm-hmm. I don't see Airplane as slapstick. Really, I see airplane as party humor, sure, but I, I don't know. I mean, there's that too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but I, I mean, airplane. I mean, Jesus Christ! Uh, but uh, the parts that I laugh at are not more the slapsticky parts. I guess I don't know. I I like. Er, I don't know if I classify it as slapstick, and I don't know if I say that. I don't, I don't think like it would slapstick. be slapstick a hundred percent. But I like I like the Three Stooges, and they're slapstick. They're the I, de- right. definition yeah. of slapstick. I exactly. think it's somewhere in between, like airplane and like that office space dry humor. Okay. Yeah. I like I, both of those. Yeah, yeah, I think it's probably... Yeah, that's, that's our, a good assessment, I think. Yeah. It's a better assessment, yeah. So so I I recommend it. I definitely recommend you. I don't know why it. you thought I wasn't going to like it. Both those movies you mentioned are great. So. Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch it this week. It's on Netflix, so you can watch it on Netflix. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, it's my number three, What Hot American Summer. Right on, man. Uh, I really thought that was going to be higher on your list, though. I I made a decision. It was number two. Because you love it so much. Yeah, I, I, made it, I, made, I moved it from number two because... The more I started remembering my the one that is my number two now, the more I realized how much as a whole I enjoyed it more. I feel that way about my number two. Also, so, it started off lower and then rose. Yeah, like a phoenix. Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> caca, caca, caca. What I'm playing? <laughs> um, my number three is the Great Outdoors with the amazing John Candy oh, yeah. and the aforementioned 
I was gonna the guy ask who about that. Uh, Kim Kurtrow. <laughs> mm, I was gonna heard. ask because I know that Great Outdoors took place on a weekend trip to a lake, but was it a summer? Yeah, it was trip a summer. to the okay. yeah. Because I haven't seen the movie in forever. This, yeah, this I saw the movie a bunch of probably a year ago, movie. maybe. Like, it's within a year, but I've seen it, uh, and I bought it, and I saw it. And I, I, I was watching it with my father-in-law, who had never seen it. Oh, okay. And we was watching it, and he was like, this movie's great. And I'm yeah. like, how do you not fucking know about Great Outdoors? I'm like, ready? He's like, I I've, never, I've never even heard of this movie. I'm like, it's fucking, like, it's so good. I mean, it's got the two scenes that are, like, those are the two scenes are the ones that I remember. The old 96er and the... The bear. Those well, are the, two the bear is the one that I remembered <laughs> off the top, but I remember I remember so many from my childhood. The guy getting struck by lightning a bunch of fucking times. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. And uh, but the old ninety six I just remember because anytime I go to a steakhouse, it's like, but they're still fat and gristle. All there's left is fat and gristle. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and uh, there's so many scenes, man. But I, I love that movie a lot. There, it's it's really that's a really good fucking comedy. It's it is a really good it comedy. Is. Uh, and it, there's like the only thing that slapstick I would say is the bear butt. Uh, but other than that, it's it's really fucking good. It's so good, man. Yeah. It's so good. Um, but I like, I really like the. I I just that's why I I because I it is a great movie and I remember loving that movie. I just didn't remember it as a summer movie. Well, if you haven't I, seen it in forever, yeah. I mean that, that's a, that should be a, a telltale sign if you haven't seen it. You know, to make it a mountain. Yeah, but, I, I couldn't tell you when the last time I saw this. Ah, uh, yeah. I, so it, it's fantastic. So great outdoors, John Candy. Um, I. I honestly, I don't recall watching a John Candy movie that I did not like. It, He's because I, I I've seen a lot of his even the yeah. dramas. I was like, no, this is a good movie. I don't think there's a I don't think there's a bad John Candy movie off the top. of my I'm head. I'm sure there's a bad one. I'm sh- as far as critically acclaimed or whatever. Oh, there is. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Even though I love the movie, what's the one with uh, Demi Moore that they're at the trash yard that it's also got Dan Aykroyd in it. That the Dan Aykroyd plays that judge, the old judge. Oh yeah, that was a fucking weird one. You would you would love that movie, I'm sure. <laughs> it's I I like them. I used to watch I, that movie all the time. But it's, it's not a good not, movie. It's not ringing a bell. That new, that movie freaked me the fuck out as a kid, and I couldn't watch it, dude. I could not. Can fl- we call Christy? Yeah, I could call. Her. Call call Christy on there, and and because she'll she'll know the name of that movie. This mm-hmm. is cool. Watch it. Christy Campos. Excuse me. What, what was that? Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think we're not going to make it? Is that why you just <laughs> kept it like that? Let's see if she answers. She she should be. There's it's nothing. Not jo- ten yet. There's no Jonas Brothers thing on right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, well, she's on. So, is it working? The ringing. I don't hear it ringing. It's not. It's not ringing. Oh, this okay. is weird. So well, yeah, we're trying. We can we can edit this out, right? Oh uh, yes. Sure. Okay. Vamp. Why vamp, is it vamp, not vamp, working? Vamp. I don't understand. Is it connected to your uh, boozes? It is. Yeah. It is. Why? By the time you do that, oh, I found it. This is compelling radio. I found it. Never mind. Uh, it's not radio. Okay. Whatever. Nothing but trouble. I've never seen that. Nothing but You've trouble. Never seen that? Yeah. It's with Chevy Chase. Yeah. It. It's not good. But I. I. Like I, it. I, um, <laughs> no, I, know, I know what you mean. Here's the thing. I don't. I love that cast. I don't know if the That's... movie's good or not because of the fact that it. It creeped me the fuck out. Yeah, it was as a kid. creepy as shit. It was super creepy, and I was I was such a kid that I was like, I don't fucking want it like i can't i can't watch this movie I, I tried multiple times and i just they're fucking all disfigured and it's all it's not john CGI. candy plays like a brother and a twin sister yeah hmm. and it's all they're all disfigured. like nutty professor style yeah That's but it's weird. all disfigured and, and it's like it's not cgi it's fucking old school right and it's prosthetic and, and, and it's fucking that and stuff I just, always looked much more real yeah, yeah and it's and yeah I but can't, it, i can't and yeah. as a kid i was like i'm fucking out but i can't well that was it. like yeah that was like me with the witches yeah uh, mm. but the witches only had that one scene like that yeah but i didn't this make it movie, past that in this the movie was the whole fucking movie was yeah. like that it was like jesus um so the great outdoors the great outdoors is my number two um, you're number three. Oh, i'm sorry you're right number three so round two <laughs> Dose, the sequel to Uno. Did you not want to recap the uh, number three? Sorry. You're right. Number three is Eurotrip, Sandlot, uh, Wet Hot American Summer, and Great Outdoors. Okay. Okay. My number two is Adam's Family Values. There. There it is. Uh, there it is. Uh, um, this is a great I fucking movie. love these this movies, by the way. This is a fantastic movie. The Adams Family movie. I love the Adams great. Family movies. And I Man, hope that new one, the new, the new cartoon. It looks good. It looks, it looks good. really fucking yeah. good. Yeah, so I hope it, it does like... Charlie's Theron, huh? Who all of the Adams Family justice, because the shows, like the original show is good, too. Um, so at the end though. of the first Adams Family, we find out that Marticia's pregnant. 
And um, in the beginning of this one, so she's, spoiler on Adam Sandler, right? Guys. It's <laughs> we find this movie's out. from 1993. <laughs> we, we find out because because Stephanie's so, crocheted she's a onesie so yeah. with three legs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, which, as a kid, I thought yes, the baby oh. black. <laughs> <laughs> totally went over my head as a kid, and then I saw it as an adult, and I was like, "Oh, that's what." As that a kid, means. I was like, "Oh, they're having a little monster." That's yeah, that's what I thought. Like Wait, leg. that is a, that is right. That's the whole joke. Is that yeah. they're a monster? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but then you but find out that leg. they're having a boy, and it's, it's just a, it's a dick. Yeah. It's a third oh, leg. I didn't see it. I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be. I think that's I what think we interpret it because of the fact that we're fucking. We're, I we're think sickles. it's a double no, thing a where double it's a kids time. movie, and it kids are gonna think it's a monster, and adults are gonna know it's a third leg. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't. I didn't think that. I, I uh, never thought that way ever. I thought okay. it's a monster. Mm. Well, I thought it should be a monster. right? it should be, and that's what I thought as a kid. Because the thing is, again, this movie came out when I was two out of the out of the. Three men in this table don't have that third leg to yeah, <laughs> to compare to. So maybe that's where that joke. Yeah, comes. I don't know. I I thought I say that joke now as an adult, like oh, I think the kid was gonna be black. But as a kid, and even now, realistically, I think it's just because the kid's a monster. Okay. Because they're monsters. Right. Right. So they get a nanny who's Joan Cusack um, to come and like take care of Wednesday and Pugsley while they're raising this baby. And Wednesday and Pugsley just keep trying to kill the baby. So their solution is the British solution, which is to ship your kids the fuck off. And they send them to Camp Chippewa. Which is the nanny's idea. Which is the nanny's idea. Because the nanny, what she's trying to do is trying to get Fester to fall in love with her. Because, spoiler alert, she's like a black widow killer and basically has killed everybody that's ever loved her. And um, just basically inherits all their money and just keeps the cycle going. So that's what she's trying to do with Fester. Um... So they go the the for me the best part of this movie is the Thanksgiving play. Yeah. Yes. Um the which Quentin makes, Tarantino which makes no sense. The Quentin Tarantino <laughs> zero sense. fucking blood gushing right. out. Yeah. <laughs> no, right. that's, that's the, the first, first one. one. That's when they're doing Macbeth at the talent show. You're right. Yeah. I love these movies. Yeah. Like you understand. Yeah. Okay. So they do at camp there's this girl that is like blonde and like the pretty girl or whatever and Wednesday hates her. Um but they cast this girl. They want to do a play on the first Thanksgiving as like their end of camp show or whatever. And um, they cast this girl to be the pilgrim. And they cast po- um, Wednesday to be Pocahontas. Which, by the way, if this were to take place now, um, they would re- they would like drag this movie for cultural appropriation because it's a bunch of white kids and it's all the special kids that like get cast as the Indians. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Sounds like a live version of a fucking uh, South Park episode. Exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. So, um, and, the, and the outcome of it is a uh, is a South Park episode. One hundred percent. So, so the 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 pretty white girl is playing this pilgrim called Sarah Miller, and she's going on about and like she's calling the, them like savages and primitive and she's talking about how they wear shampoo and wear shoes and that's like the difference between them they use their last names and whatever so then they're they're, they're inviting the indians to the first thanksgiving and wednesday fakes it at first i actually have the speech written down but wednesday like fakes it at first and it's like you're so kind and you're the most beautiful person i've ever seen and then she just stops and she goes wait and she gives this whole speech about like white supremacy in, in the united states and like she says things like you have taken the land which is rightfully ours uh years from now my people will be forced to live in mobile homes on reservations your people will wear cardigans and drink highballs and it's like this I whole like speech about my people will have pain and degradation and your people will have stick shifts and then she decides <laughs> her last line is that's why i've decided to scalp you and burn your village to the ground <laughs> and they literally start burning the set of this whole play and they like tie the camp counselors up and roast them on a spit <laughs> they put sarah on this like pyre the word looks like she's going to be burned on this at the stake like the salem witch trials and it's the most beautiful thing i've ever seen in the in my life and i love it so much so it's your number two. So it's my number two. The most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your life. It's number just, two. it couldn't, first of all, that <laughs> scene could It's the never, best movie ever. Number two. <laughs> that scene could never happen today. They, we, You could never have that today. And I just, it's, it's a, a shame, point. isn't it? It is. Because it's, it's like, why can't we put, you know. We could make fun of kids and shit. Exactly. Yeah. Why can't we put kids in a wheelchair as Indians? And, but then you, you, know, you also have the whole, like, summer love aspect of the movie, movie too. With, uh. Yeah, with, with Wednesday the, and the, and that kid the, that the she ends kid. up like freaking the fuck out at the end of the movie because yeah. she, she has the thing grab his hand in the cemetery. It's great. <laughs> I fucking love Wednesday Adams. 
All right, number number two, so uh, Dave. My number two is the um, is the newest movie on my mountain. I think this is from last year, maybe from 2017, and it's a movie called Summer of '84. Oh, you good pick. This, yes, right? I saw this. Um, so this movie. That's a, damn, I didn't think about that. That's a good movie. Uh, this movie takes place, obviously, in the summer of 84. And this group of, of high school kids. 19? 1984. Okay. <laughs> well, with you, I have to ask. <laughs> it is a classic 1784. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, David. Uh, it could also be 1684 and be yeah. about the Salem Witch Trials. Of course. Right, that's what I was thinking. Classic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, these high school kids are you know just doing their own thing it's got like this goonies vibe yeah. towards the beginning of yeah. the movie and it kind of runs through the movie that same vibe but there's a serial killer that has uh gone through different towns and it seems like he's in their town right now because three different uh young boys have gone missing and uh so the serial killer writes a letter to the to the news to the media saying uh, listen, it is me, and I'm going to continue uh, doing this. So there's this mass hysteria, this paranoia. The boys, uh, and one boy in particular, get the idea that his next-door neighbor, who is a police officer, is the serial killer. And so the movie kind of plays off this this paranoia killer, killer, the killer. yeah it, it's it's got that so the boys spend the entire summer investigating him and so there's a little bit of this like goonies style like kid engineering like they use walkie talkies like gi joe walkie talkies right. to 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 do like some kevin, spying. kevin McAllister type of shit right yeah. yeah it's got it's got that that feel to it so it's very it's it's got a very summer feel to it like the things that you normally played with your friends during summer they're doing that, but trying to find a killer yeah, at the like, same time. They scop the white people. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those fun, fun yeah. campfire games, yeah. right? And uh, and so so it, it you kind of get the impression that the boys are kind of just trying to pass the time of the summer, trying to find something exciting to do in the summer, um, and un, until it starts getting too real, and then the movie kind of shifts and becomes much darker than it was before. And everything about it is fantastic. My favorite thing is probably the score, though. The score in this movie is Shocked. this like really minimalist, like '80s techno style score, and it blows my mind. Like I've listened to it countless times on uh, on the Apple Music. And That's not just, an exaggeration. When he puts on music, he puts on like movie scores and like classical music. Summer of '84 was 2018. There you go. Okay, so it was last year. And uh, so, yeah, if you're looking for something uh, newer uh, that has like an 80s throwback vibe to it, but still has like some of the, the techniques and the qualities of today's films, uh, it's, it's fantastic. The writing is great. The acting is great. All the, all the kids in this are spectacular. Mm -hmm. They're all fantastic. And um, any kids we would know, Stranger Things, it. Those it has that Stranger Things that it feel, yeah. but none of those Ram kids are Varach, in it. Uh, the one uh, the this the one good. the one that I did recognize was the older girl who's going off to college. Mm -hmm. She is uh, Betty's older sister on, oh, on Riverdale. Riverdale. Okay, and uh, Polly, the the guy who plays Mister Mackey, the neighbor who's suspected so of being he's from uh, Mad Men, right? Uh, right, he's from Mad Men. Who is it? Well, um, the kid is it from shit, uh, Supergirl? He's in Supergirl. That guy. Oh yes. Yeah. So uh, they're they're all people that you've kind of seen before. Yeah. Um. It's a it's it's a small independent film, mm -hmm. and it has that independent film vibe to it, which again goes back to to that kind of '80s feel that they're that they're doing when you had a lot of these directors that was just starting up. Yeah. And it's made by the same directing team that did a movie I am obsessed with called Turbo Kid. Oh. Yeah. And, oh, look, there's and that, the, that's another uh, arbitrary fat kid. 80s movie. <laughs> yeah, you have to have a fat kid. Yeah, in one every... fat kid in every group, yeah. in every summer group, in every kid's yeah. movie, there's like one, one of the, the fat kids. And the thing yeah. is, each kid in that group is, um, is I, I wouldn't necessarily call like a stereotype, Okay. but they're all going through their own personal stuff as well. And well, so, there's no black kid, so. Um, no, no, there isn't. No minority. 
So so to see them they don't have the diversity to, to see them, them go too. through their own stuff on top of the paranoia of what's going on in the town yeah. and this investigation which uh the main kid becomes totally consumed with. It's um it's it's a it's a fantastic movie. Cool. So I I uh I really recommend it. Cool. I like it. I saw I like that movie. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah. Oh. I saw it before he did. Yeah. Oh. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. Right. How hipster. hipster. That's, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. That's right. Now, he saw it on my iTunes account. <laughs> I did. <laughs> so, I, I did see it, so it on so your I'm iTunes. Hipster like, you. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't even pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's how hipster you are. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, all right. I use the Starbucks free Wi Fi, <laughs> a- aka Dave's account. <laughs> uh, Jeff, what's your number two? <laughs> so my number two is uh, One Crazy Summer. With John never, Cusack, never seen it. No. Oh wait, wait, wait! Yes, I have. John, it's I've got never John. Even heard C- of this movie. It, it's it's John Cusack and the director of Better Off Dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, I it, love that. It's a, a Steve Holland. Uh-huh. He directed this one. It was the okay. second movie they did together. Um, basic premise of it: uh, uh, John Cusack plays this guy named Hoops, who's a cartoonist. Mm-hmm. That um, I, I believe Demi Moore's in it. Yeah, this, Demi, this it's young Demi Moore's in it. He goes to his. His aunt, his friend, uh, Bill Murray's brother, uh, his friend, he, go, he goes to his his aunt and uncle's place in Nantucket mm-hmm. for the summer to hang out with him. And he has to try to finish doing a, um, what's it called? A, a bunch of uh, cartoons, like a bunch of uh, portfolio uh-huh. to be able to graduate. This sounds really familiar. And he gets there. And there's then, a like, race at the end. There's the famous scene is that there's a boat race at the end with Odie stuck at the with a, o, Odie. Uh, o, they put the stuffed Odie on the front yeah. of their Dude, boat. I think, I think I've Odie seen from this. Garfield. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And then like wild. like so it, they get to the Nantucket and he the two there's two twins that they don't look alike at all but Bobcat Goldwaith is one of them. <laughs> um, and then like what it it's got these like ca- the cast of characters it's got the bad guy developer mm-hmm. who's the he's in Animal House he's the the R- the military ROTC guy okay. from Animal House, <laughs> he plays the bad guy developer who's trying to redevelop the area in, in Nantucket to make a bunch of money. Um, he, and then Demi Moore's uh, there to try to help her family save. They don't their... have this on iTunes. No. Better Off Dead is not on iTunes. No, not Better Off Dead. One One Crazy Summer. Is oh, I'm sorry. One Crazy Summer. Um, they have, but, I think they do have that. They know they, they do have, have it on iTunes. But they don't have Better Off Dead. Isn't that crazy? That's weird. Yeah. So then th- some of the funny part, little things, because it does make fun of the, the genre too. Like when the, the he has a little sister that goes with them also, the um his his best friend's little sister. Mm-hmm. When she like leaves school, it says generic elementary school <laughs> on the outside. And um, like there's like a scene where these two kids and girls are making fun of her because she has this beat up dog and they're like dog it's in a family show you'll see it yeah, he like do- oh it is so who has it me oh there you go he just bought it <laughs> now yes, oh, I just dog- and they're like dog when from- just now yeah <laughs> when will then be now soon that it's like they, they're like, <laughs> like right the fuck now they call they they do like the you know when you used to grab your your fingers and make like make your face look right. all mm-hmm. cigarette and they're making fun of her dog and the crossing guards like be careful yeah, if yeah, somebody yeah. pats your back while you're doing that it's gonna stay like that forever so they start doing it to the dog and the little girl who's the owner pats their back and when they turn their faces are all deformed <laughs> and they run across the street and her brother pulls up and goes damn they got some ugly ass kids in this neighborhood yeah, <laughs> like, good. And, but like, all these scenes are coming back to me now i just yeah. seen them the lobster scene that the the bad guy like puts a lobster to boil and he has a stethoscope so you can hear it scream like like <sighs> they make it like epitome of bad guy um but like there's there's a scene in there that bobcat goldwaith is like oh booger curtis armstrong uh-huh. he, he's in it he's one of his <laughs> friends um and he's Booger, like your doppelganger. Bo- Booger's like super sad and, and like Bobcat Goldwaist is like comforting him and he's trying to come and he tells him a story and he's like, you know, there used to be this fat kid that you know, he, he didn't he talked funny and he's like talking as Bobcat Goldwaist like and he had no friends and he had a twin brother, but everybody said that he didn't look like his twin, which is exactly him. And he's like and it was just sad and you know, I, I I felt bad for him, and nobody had you know nobody had fr- he didn't have any friends. Or, and then Kurt, uh, Booger looks at him, he's like, "You were that fat kid, weren't you?" He goes, "No, I used to shake him and be like, why are you so fat?'" <laughs> like, like, John Mazuzak is in it. Who? John Mazuzak. Who's that? Uh, he played some guy named Sloth. Oh, in some okay. Movie called. Oh, I don't yeah. know what to call it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> This like small um, independent film called yeah. the Goon. But like, and then the whole the whole premise, it's got that classic. The, the, there's a the cast of characters that are around John Cusack, who's the normal one, right? In it, like the the uncle is for Jeremy the, for, Piven's in it. 
Is he? Oh, yeah. oh that's right. He's one of the assholes. Guys. Oh, because um, that's such a stretch yeah, for him one to of the, <laughs> Like, his, the uncle is trying to win a radio contest to win a million dollars. So he literally, every summer, sits in this, like, dark room with just a wooden table. It's full of cigarette smoke. And he's got a rotary phone and the radio. <laughs> and throughout the entire movie, it's just him. They just waiting, go back to him. Go back to him that he's waiting. And this radio announcer's like, it could be at any time now. <laughs> and he gets up to go to the bathroom and goes, like, right now. And he runs back and it's like. But it's not. And like and you just see him slowly start going crazy. Like it's a fucking great movie. So I, I'm like ninety percent certain that I saw this when I was in high school. I had a drama teacher who was obsessed with uh, with John Cusack. And, that sounds about right. She seems like Right, yeah. Um Steph met her. And um so I saw Say Anything, I saw uh, Better Off Dead, and I'm almost certain I saw this in that class, too. Yeah, it, it, I love this movie. It's, it's coming back to me now that you're talking about it. it. it to me, it's, it's, it's one of those classics that not a lot of people have seen that they should. Um, when I think of when I the think end of the, some... the boat race at the end, they put a fucking don't uh, your bitches. Uh, don't don't step in. Uh, he's, right. gonna, he's gonna watch it. It's all right. You're he's right. gonna watch. You'll watch. You're it. right. He's yeah. gonna watch it. But that, but that's like a big okay. thing. The Godzilla scene with Bob Cat. It, it, it's all really good. It's all really good. I just bought the movie, so yeah. I, I hope you're going to enjoy watching. There's a Godzilla that. scene that you'll appreciate. Nice. All right, um, uh, but yeah. So my number, my number two is uh, One Crazy Summer. One Crazy Summer. Um. All right. So my number two is uh, What About Bob? Wow. Uh, classic. What? I love that movie. Oh, okay. You were like, no, I said classic. Oh, yeah. But when I say classic, it usually means I haven't seen it or I don't know about what you're talking about. Oh, no, Uh, but I didn't say it sarcastically. Yeah. No. (laughs) uh, What About Bob is a great summer movie. It's one of those... Uh, I feel bad for Richard Dreyfuss in this movie. Uh, his character. <laughs> Don't you feel bad for Richard Dreyfuss in every movie, though? No. Mr. Holland's opus, I think. Ho- oh, yeah, I feel bad for him. Bro, he had a deaf kid. You didn't feel bad for him? No, I don't feel no. bad for him for that. I feel bad for him because he got fired. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I don't see a disability as something to feel He like. struggles a lot in that movie. Yeah, but a lot of it's because of him. Oh, struggled. yeah, for sure. So, like, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. But I, I saw it for the first it. time in its entirety last year when school started. Really? Yeah, it was like my, like, oh, I want to do you're back to school. I'm back to school, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, it's you're definitely not had a long conversation about yeah. it." Yeah, boo, no, boo, fucking. It's a crying. great movie. Yeah, yeah. I I saw it in school. Like I forget. I I saw bits and pieces of it here and there, and I just had never seen it in its entirety. And mm-hmm. people kept whenever school movies come up, it's like Mr. Holland's Opus is really yeah, up there yeah, on his yeah. list. And then I was like, "Oh, I'll watch it," and I was like, <laughs> "Fucking great!" It's a great, movie. It's fantastic. It um, anyways, um, talk about a movie that's also great is what about Bob? My pick. Sorry, um, <laughs> I that whole conversation. I just learned recently, listening to another podcast that uh, that they, the movie came up. What about Bob came up? Uh, Richard Dreyfuss and Bill Murray really hated each other during filming. But that happens a lot in these yeah. movies because mm-hmm. apparently John Cusack and, and Steve Holland. John Cusack was pissed at him because Better Off Dead didn't do as well as it was supposed to. So, and they worked together on the thing. So it happens that, a is lot. The director or is that the director? Yeah, and... that's the director. I'm talking about like the two co- stars that whose characters are not supposed to like each other. Don't like each other. Really don't fucking like each other. So I, I just, I mean, I always felt bad for Richard Dreyfuss in this movie. Uh, I always gave him while watching the movie. I was like, no, Bob is fucking nuts. And and slowly but surely, mm-hmm. everybody starts turning on Richard Dreyfuss' character. And I'm like, but he's the... No, he's right. Like, <laughs> Bob is clearly overstepping boundaries here. Why the fuck? Like, even as a child who I didn't phrase it that way, I was never like, hey, he's boundaries and these are... But I was always like, um, no, that's not his place. It's not his house. Why the fuck is everybody on Bob's side? And I was just out of his... Yeah, but it's fucking great. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of... It's really funny. Um, he teaches... He unknowingly teaches his son how to dive. Even though he doesn't know how to swim, Bob doesn't know how to swim <laughs> as a fucking adult. Um, it's really great, man. It's uh, for those for the listeners. If you for the three people who are listening to this who don't know about what about Bob, it's um, uh, Bob is played by Bill Murray. Bill Murray, Murray, who is has a plethora of psychological issues, and he goes to see Richard Dreyfuss, a new uh, his new therapist, who gets. Richard Dreyfuss gets Bob gets put on to Richard Dreyfuss because his old therapist was going fucking nuts. And at the beginning of the movie, he's like, "Yes, I finally, I finally got rid of Bob." Like he's old third person, like I finally got rid of Bob. And um, so then he uh, goes on. He sees him one time, one session. Then immediately goes on summer vacation with yeah. his family. Yep. And fucking Bob chase fucking tracks him down by lying to mm-hmm. the secretary by fucking just 
and tracks him down and goes to visit him in his summer home and and then uh, hilarity ensues. I saw this in health class in high school for the first time because we were talking about like health psych- class. We were talking about psychology. Oh, okay. So I just thought your teacher was drunk and was like, "Fuck it, just put a movie on." <laughs> no, we Fuck saw. Come over, put a we, movie on. We saw like some relevant movies. The other one that I had seen for the first time in health class that I never saw was Osmosis Jones. If ever anybody remembers that movie, I remember that, yeah. another Bill Murray movie. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess my teacher just liked Bill Murray, but we saw <laughs> what about Bob and that when we were talking about like the human brain psychology and stuff. I like think that. that's a. That's a stretch Armstrong reach there. I, fucking, mean, could, I think the teacher was just like, just put a fucking movie, man. Yeah. Holy shit. That's um, fine. But yeah, uh, so what about Bob is my number two? I like nice. it. Go pick. Uh, so uh, for number twos, we had uh, Adam's Family Value, uh, Summer of 84, One Crazy Summer, and What About Bob? Uh, number ones. No, no, no we're going to uh, do honorable mentions. mentions. Honorable mentions. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's been a while, guys. And then are you guys going to uh, do the social media ones? Yeah. Okay. So do I... Do you want me to start while you sure. guys pull them up? Okay. So my honorable mentions are the cliche ones. Um, American Pie 2, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I know what you did last summer. But they're honorable mentions. They don't count. Relax. <laughs> Camp Rock, The Vacation, but the <laughs> reboot of 2015. Basic. I knew it. And High School Musical 2. You're uh, welcome, Jeff. I, uh, I didn't, you didn't put camp, which surprised me. I've never seen it. Okay. I know. I need to see it. Because that's the description I showed him and he goes, that's Stephanie in a nutshell. Can I just I've tell heard you that I need to watch which it. Is, what I think is going to be your number one. I'll share. I'll share with uh, Jeff. Okay. My uh, my friend Andrew Harriman yeah. sent me his That's list. A good pick. Yeah. Uh, he put Jaws at number four, Caddyshack at number oh. three, Sandlot at number two. His honorable mentions were uh, Point Break, Summer Rental, Stand Point By break. Me. A and, lot of people have Point and Break. And number one is oh, I know uh, number one. National I know Lampoon's number one. Vacation. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ge- Geekmore website has our Facebook has. Carlos Navarrete has number four, American Pie 2, number three, Rear Window, number two, a goofy movie, number one, Oh, my God, a goofy movie is totally a summer movie. I didn't even think about that. Fact. Yeah, I did. I texted him. Fuck. He texted me. God damn it. Uh, Honorable mention, 500 Days of Summer. You don't like a goofy Uh, movie. I've never seen it. And Fast Times Original High. You should watch it. Uh, Uh, Fast Times. Robert Five days, 500 Days of Summer. She hears the... Does it qualify as a summer movie? Because the girl's name is Summer? Well, the girl's name is Summer, but it take, it does take place during a summer. However, it also takes place during, during the fall like two the years. spring. <laughs> yeah. It's 500 days. Yeah. It's like a year and a half. So it's like... Uh, it came up a lot in the list, though. So. Yeah, I, because it has a name, the word right. summer in the title. So it's going to... But I don't... It's a weird... I'm not part, saying it's not a summer movie. Place yeah. yeah. But it's... Is it a... You know what I mean? Like... Does it really count? Is it a Christmas movie if half the movie is in Christmas and half of it is not? Is it still a Christmas movie? Right. That's what we're basically asking here. So. All right. Uh, Robert C. Leatherwood has four to one. Sandlot, One Crazy Summer, Vacation, the original, and Cold in July. Jemaya has uh, four to one. Friday the 13th. It's Jamia. Jamia? Yeah. That was Jemaya. I'm pretty sure. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, uh, Friday the 13th, yeah. The Lost Boys. That's, That's a summer movie? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I've I've seen it once. Sexy saxophone man takes his shirt off in the summer only. Uh, I mean, I guess, excuse me, you've only seen. I've only seen it once, and it was years ago. Oh. How many times have you seen Twilight? Just out of curiosity. Not that many. Was there more than one. More than one. Maybe. All right. Yeah. You're, you're uh, number two it. <laughs> <laughs> number two is it, and number one stand by me. Which Honor- it? Does he specify? Uh, no. Okay. You pick. Honorable mention: Sandlot, <laughs> Days and Confused, which. Takes place on the last day of school. Technically, not a summer movie. Um, Jaws. Uh, I mean, but the last day of school is like June fourteenth. Yeah, it's like summer? one foot in, one foot out of summer. Yeah, I mean, it takes place. It it days and confuse the entire movie takes place on the last day. Oh, of school I know, but if, it depends on when the last day is because our last day for school is like June tenth or whatever. That is, that's summer. Some yeah. schools get out like now, like mid June. Yeah, like in different have, parts of the country. Snow days. Yeah. yeah. Snow days. Um, America Pie Two. American Pie. No, no, it's American Pie. No, it's American no, Pie. No, I, I understand, but... <laughs> um, Daniel Converse has Days and Confused four times. <laughs> um, Andrea Viafana has four to one. Sandlot, Dirty Dancing, Caddyshack, and Independence Day. Honorable mentions, The Parent Trap, the original with the ha- with Haley Mills. Christopher Garcia, four to one, has Euro Trip, One Crazy Summer, Summer School, and The Great Outdoors. Honorable mentions to The Sandlot, Y Tu Mama También. Mm. Weekend at Bernie's. Shout out to Ma- Y Tu Mama yeah. También. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen it. 
That's good. Yeah. Weekend at Bernie's with Bernie's spelled completely wrong. Um, <laughs> Caddyshack. <laughs> Chad Millman, four to one, one crazy summer, summer rental, wet, hot American summer in Jaws. Diego Maya, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Number four, four to one from Justin to Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> Camp Nowhere, American Pie 2, The Sandlot, Honorable Mention, Heavyweights, Summer Catch, Euro Trip, Caddyshack, Wet Hot American Summer. Summer Catch, she is so fun in that movie. Oh, yeah, but that movie's bad. God. I, I bought it. I, I, I saw it again I, uh, within a year ago. That and not good. It's not good. Uh, it's she not is. awful, but man, it's not good it's either. It's not the worst. It's not, it's not Showgirls. <laughs> no, no, no. But it's. Uh, I remember it being better than it was. And then I saw it again. I was like, ooh. Yeah. yeah. Oof, okay. Because we saw it when we were teenagers. And I think that's why we didn't think it was Who's that we, bad. man? I'm five years older than you. Who's fucking we? You're 13. I'm 19. This, we're not the you're same. You're not five years older than I, me. I'm 37. You're I'm 33. 33. That's not, not five? five years. That's four. Don't oh, do Stephanie. Oh, Wow, crazy. I fucked up by one. Jesus. Uh, Quills has... <laughs> Quills has worst. Sandlot, Dirty Dancing, 500 Days of Summer. Jesus Christ. The dog was just licking my friggin' wiener. Um, and National Lampoon. That's not one of her picks, by the way. That's not a movie. Um, and then 500 Days of Summer got replaced with Now and Then. Especially Q. Um, Brian and um, Conran has uh the way back the way way back stand by me and then euro trip and number one wet hot american summer honorable mention mean creek not sure if it actually takes place during the summer or not now this says scroll down to view more comments but it's not letting me so i don't know if there's more uh i don't know i think you're done man okay um, I have David Smith, uh, from Jaws, Days of Confuse, um, which takes place, uh, the last day of summer, uh, or the first, what is it? takes place on the first day of summer for the students. American Graffiti, which takes place on the, really on the last day of summer, and Wet Hot American Summer. So he's got Jaws, Days of Confuse, American Graffiti, and Wet Hot American Summer. John Evans has Sandlot, Days of Confuse, Jaws, and National Lampoon's Vacation. Will Watkins has Batman, Superman, Apocalypse, <laughs> Serenity, Knights of Badassendom, and uh, Dead End, because he did his Mount Rushmore of Summer Glow movies. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I saw that. Uh, his real list is Independence Day, Wet Hot American Summer, Sandlot, and Heavyweights. Uh, Yvette uh, La Rosa has Vacation, Dur uh, Dirty Dancing, Jaws, Summer School. David Kelly just put Meatballs, so his Mount Rushmore is a statue. Uh, Mike Murgadal has Great Outdoors, Jaws, Sandlot, Independence Day. Uh, Adam Ginsberg has Summer Rental, Summer School, Meatballs, and Euro Trip. And Marcus Ruiz has Jaws 3, and then he puts it on Judge, but it's too late. We're already judging. <laughs> Sandlot, Vacation, and Stand By Me. Jaws 3, yeah. huh? Yeah. It doesn't even take place in the summer. Okay. <laughs> I thought it did. No, that takes place at SeaWorld. SeaWorld, yeah. <laughs> but at, during <laughs> the summer. Dennis Quaid. No, it, it, it just, it's just, they don't even specify. I mean, it could be anything. Sure? Actually, wait, did Leah, I thought, I think I thought they they didn't her brother vacation? come to visit for the summer? No, yeah. they weren't on vacation. But they no, worked but like at her SeaWorld. sister or whatever. No, her, what? his brother came to visit, but I don't know if it was because of summer or not. It might be. It might be. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to rewatch it to verify. So, <laughs> you're you're going to take that L on your I'll, own. I'll let buddy. you know. Yeah, you're going to take that L on your own. Homie. I've seen that movie as many times as she's seen Twilight, probably. <laughs> I mean, not that many. Uh, all right, so what's uh, our honorable mentions? Uh, my honorable mentions. I did mine already. Okay. She did hers. Our uh, Hot Rod. The, uh, my, my, this is this was I was going back and forth between Jason Lives and Hot Rod, <laughs> and ultimately I decided to go with Jason Lives. He but, wanted to hate this movie when we saw it years ago, and he was like, "This movie was so fucking great." I fucking love Hot Rod. This is one of my guilty pleasure movies, and uh, it's it, it is it is everything. Um, Return of the Living Dead takes place. Great, it does. Uh, between it does. it's it, it, his. Tommy Jarvis from uh, Jason Lives <laughs> works works at a, a a place that provides cadavers for um, uh, me medical students, <laughs> and uh, hilarity ensues on July fourth. <laughs> um, let's go sleepaway camp. Okay, nice. And let's do another comedy, American Graffiti. Okay. I've never seen it. 
Uh, I absolutely love it. I'm surprised that that wasn't on your mountain. I thought that was going to be your number one. I really love American Graffiti. I really thought that was going to be your number one. uh, You know, I'm just going to say it. It, The new It was fucking awesome. Yeah. Great summer music. That's how I see it. That's good. BFF. You should watch it. All right. My honorable mentions are... Is it uh, better than us? Don't start that now. I mean, I don't know. It's different for them from us. Okay. Did right. you watch us? Yes. Did you like it? Not really. Okay. Save it for the. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> um. All right. So my honorable mentions are Goofy Movie, Heavyweights, yes. Camp Nowhere, Ernest Goes to Camp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Ernest go to camp have like one of the creepiest fucking? Wasn't like one of the mo- like there was. No, a that monster. was Ernest Goes to Africa. No, I'm being no, honest. No, I'm no. Being, like, there was, no like, the a... monster was in Earnest uh, Scared Stupid. The right. troll. Right, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I'm thinking about. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Fucking yeah, yeah. Nightmare fuel. Yeah. Legit. Um, and then I, I, I just rewatched this yesterday. Hey, BFF. It, I just rewatched this at, yesterday and it almost made my mountain, and it's Meatballs. Um, I the, haven't seen this with, forever. Yeah, it, it still made me crack up. Yeah, like I still loved it, and and it almost made my mountain, but it it was like the number five. Um, I really really loved it. It's classic Bill Murray. Um, I, Which I, one? I, uh, meatballs. meatballs. Oh, I haven't not seen the it second, forever. not the second one with the alien. I haven't seen it in <laughs> forever, dude. I really want to watch. I really want to rewatch it because I have not seen Meatballs. It's on Amazon Prime now. Yeah. The video. Uh, yeah, video. Gonna... Actually, I own it. I think. I think that's one of the ones I actually bought. You own four. You don't remember? You don't remember? It? We, you don't remember your we list? own a hundred. We own a hundred and thirty-two. Thank you yeah, very much. But, I mean, All right. Yeah. Disney original movies. Don't no, matter. but that's on Christie's account, not my account. <laughs> no, ma'am. Um, so those are my honorable mentions. Uh, my honorable mentions. I only have a few. My honorable mentions are um, "Stand by Me," "Weekend at Bernie's," uh, "Forgetting Sarah Marshall," and "My Girl." I love forgetting He's Sarah Marshall, and movies. the reason that yeah. I didn't like wrong. include it is because I don't think that's like it doesn't. When I think about summer movies, it which didn't is, occur to which me. Which is the reason why it didn't. But co- I love that movie. Which is the reason why um, it did yeah. not in my mind. That that's why I didn't make my list. Right. Because um, it yeah, only. I own it. Yeah, I own it. You own it. I own it. So the Sarah, so forgetting Sarah Marshall, I didn't think of as a summer movie. It's only on my honorable mentions because when I googled summer movies, yeah, it, it was up. on there, right. And when I when I went back to think about the movie, I go, yeah, it did take place during the summer. I just don't see it as a summer movie, which is the that movie is still it. great, it's, by the way. It's like twelve years old at this point. And yeah, but you're making it seem as if twelve years old is like nineteen twenty five. Sometimes, but sometimes <laughs> I understand, but sometimes things don't hold up, even with it, if it's like in the recent past. Sometimes they don't hold up, and the movie's still fucking. I'm great. sorry, Jason Segel's dick is always gonna hold up. Um, okay. You know, you know, always. you went there, but okay. He, he went there. Yep. He did. You're right. Yeah. He did. One of my favorite lines in that movie was she was like, uh, Bro, Dracula music. Can you, oh, that's the best. That's oh, the best that's fucking the best. scene in that entire that's movie. That's the best. Dying. But, but, but when, Dying. He, but when he, um, Dying. <laughs> when she, when she told him, can you, uh, stop eating cereal and put some clothes on? <laughs> and he goes, no, because if I put some clothes on, it's going to be real. That was the most, it fucking hit so close to him. I go, oh my God, I know what the fuck. I know. Yes. <laughs> You are fucking preach on, brother. Preach on. And I love the fact that when I was watching that movie and he got this giant bone, he put the entire cereal box in it, my eyes widened and I was like, you can do that. Oh, my God. It's so much more efficient than just fucking getting up three times and keep pouring the cereal back in. Yeah, I really, that, I love that whole fucking thing, man. There's, there's little so lines in that movie. Like, and now I have the freshest cereal. Yeah, it's, it's the best. And when he gets, when the, when the big Hawaiian dude is telling him to move out of the suite, and then he goes, are those happy tissues or sad, sad tissues? <laughs> and then he goes, does it make a difference? He goes, no. <laughs> he's sitting at the bar and he's drunk and he gets, picks up a martini and he goes, I'm Samantha. I have sex with this. <laughs> Fucking movie is great. And and then uh fuck um the the guy from oh, the newlywood couple yeah, the, newlywood fucking co- the, the guy from Jack 30 Rock, yeah. Yeah. I just I can't fight it he keeps banging his head. <laughs> you can't figure out you sound like you're from London. <laughs> <laughs> that, that movie, you're right. Good. Oh what a great I'm fucking I'm gonna movie. go watch a movie now, I guess. All right. I'm um, gonna throw in one more uh that I don't think a lot of people put on there. The Endless Summer is another great movie if you've never watched nope, it never no it. It, they, you would enjoy it because the original in the summer was in the 60s hmm. and then they redid it again in the 90s huh. um but it's it's basically like a surf doc okay. but it's funny narrated like they're like hey that 
that guy over there is Bobby Two Tone. Bobby, like, say hi, Bobby, and you see the guy just go. <laughs> like, <laughs> what was Paul Rudd's Hawaiian name? Kunu. 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 Yeah. Kunu. But yeah, yeah. So, I, right. When I came out here, I uh, <laughs> got rid of my watch. Wow, oh, it's it's fantastic, man. It was, yeah, no, I just I got one on my cell phone. <laughs> 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 Paul Rudd's like, well, fucking it's, treasure. It's kind of the same thing. Oh. All right, so number one. Round one. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. Do it! Do it! Come on! Come on! I really want to know what you guys think my number one is. Uh, I'll tell you what I think my number one is. Okay, tell me. Now and then. No. What do you think my number one is? No, I had... I had had Now and Then or Camp Nowhere. Yeah, okay. No, I had Camp Rock. Okay. Now and Then is a fantastic movie. Now and Then is great. Yeah. Well, okay. you talked about that movie recently. So I, I did. Like, She's gonna. I did. Bring this yeah. When in. you put Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants and Camp Rock in your honorable mentions, I'll yeah. Out. My number one is Almost Famous. No one's seen that. No. Oh, I've seen it. No. 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 no, no. Not almost Famous. No. Is almost Famous wrong. is fucking amazing. It is amazing. It, you just got on me about having Sarah Marshall as my honorable mentions because you don't think of Summer when that mo- when you think of Sarah Marshall. I understand. You really did think of Summer. Your number one Summer movie. Is almost famous, which is a fantastic movie. But do you really think of summer when you think of almost famous? Get I listen. Yes, because I'll, this is how I justify my pick. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, and I'll. But I'll give you that I don't. But I love this but movie so much. One. But it's your number one. You you can never... I fucking finish? Right. Can I finish? Right. Can I finish? Can I finish? Okay. Um, I love this movie so much that I don't care. Alright. So cool. you you you're. This I just is wanna, like legitimately. I just wanna. I just wanna say. I just wanna say. Um. <laughs> 30 seconds ago when you were like Sarah Marshall honorable mentions that's weird I don't think like it's summer that. yes you did no, you were like I, no, you don't really... I was agreeing with no, you no but you're like oh it's you're not really a, a summer movie and you have it on your honorable mentions mm. I don't give a fuck Judge who, would've, Judge who would have known you here's just my to... number one <laughs> I don't give a fuck who, I love who this who would have thought all you would have had to say is and I like it, and I don't care. Yeah, and that would have justified <laughs> and your I pick. I like it, and I don't care. So fuck you guys. Uh, Almost famous, is fucking fantastic. And the little personal connection, like I've mentioned with my other ones, with this is that um this I saw this with my dad originally, and um we oh, I can see that bonded now. a lot over this movie yeah. because Your like that, that, that kid that is my dad. That dad lived that <laughs> my dad lived that life. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would have been a great pick. Yeah. What? I didn't think about it until he talked about Summer of 84. So, but that, that was my dad. And like the, uh, and, and my dad, I, and I, we grew up listening to classic rock and I know all of these bands and ev- this whole lifestyle was because of him. And I know of these people because of him and like all the references and the way it's done. Like a lot of what happens in that movie is based on real events, like the pool scene where he jumps off yeah. the roof is based on Greg Allman did that in, in, on tour somewhere um what he says that i'm a golden god is supposedly robert plant yelled that on the, uh, out on the sunset strip once it's um assumingly in the summer <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, <laughs> this also i think it could also be in the winter in miami yeah. who knows, who knows? Whatever. I, mean, yeah. I just like it so this <laughs> also like really is what this is the movie that also put kate hudson on the on the map mm. i mean penny lane as, aside from her character name being like a very obvious music reference she's also based on like a couple of different girls that were like these groupie girls that were known for like following these bands around one of them being um bb rule who's um live tyler's mom i gotta i gotta write mark that down an hour and 15 minutes and i just gonna get that that song clip of stephanie saying i like it and i don't care oh thank (laughs) you i like it and i don't care um and yeah and uh, there's a lot of like really cool things that went into making this movie but i mean whatever we don't have to go into all that but the the then the the best scene in this movie is far and away the tiny dancer sing-along on the bus fucking great during their summer road trip yeah during their summer presumably presumably because nobody talks about summer at all yeah i don't care Okay. I like it, and I don't care, and that's my truth. <laughs> All right, Dave, what's your number one summer pick? Schindler's List? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> uh, nine. Nine. <laughs> mention that's weird <laughs> say it was weird. here's my number one i don't care 
I know my truth. <laughs> Bro, you didn't fight me on Crossroads, and you're fighting you me on this. Crossroads is an actual fucking and it was summer your movie. And, and it, it was, was your, your number four. four. You just said it wasn't a summer movie. <laughs> you just said. Oh it takes God. place over the course of the summer. The kid is 17 and can only do it during the summer because he goes to fucking school. Then why did you say it's not a summer movie at the beginning? I did not say it was not Rewind. a summer movie. Rewind no. this shit right what now. I, <laughs> <laughs> what he said oh, was... It's the, not a summer movie. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What he said is that you don't... Which was he was quoting me, which is that I don't think of Sarah Marshall as a summer movie, even though it is a summer movie. And he said that that was the argument that I had just made, and I'm doing the same thing. And that's when I said yes, but I don't care yeah. because I like this movie. Okay. It's literally one of my like favorite movies ever. Like one of my but in it's my not top. A summer movie. <sighs> it takes place in the summer. Hey, Die Hard's not a Christmas movie. It just takes place at Christmas. Okay, fine. The more I watch it, the more I'm agreeing with you. To be honest with you. Okay, so, cool. Because David and I had that argument yesterday. He didn't want to back down. I don't. Hey, but hey, I don't. Hey, you care. don't have to lie to keep her feelings. <laughs> but you, uh, here's the thing, though. I wouldn't put. I would have put Die Hard as my number one Christmas movie. I did. Someone, a bunch yeah, of you did yeah. though. I would have put I that too. Yeah. <laughs> I would have put it as mean, my number one Christmas. Some people movie. have taste. And here's, yeah. but here's the thing though. <laughs> the, all of this is is pre like none of this would have ever happened had you not questioned my Sarah Marshall I didn't honorable mention. It. <laughs> when you literally Within said three I minutes. Didn't, you I didn't. I was agreeing no, with you. No, you literally said Sarah Marshall's great, but and you were right. You said, but I don't think of it as a summer movie. You were absolutely right. I agreed with you. Hence why I said, yeah, that's why it makes my honorable mention list and not my actual mountain. Again, that logic is sound. You then, <laughs> 10 seconds later, were like, number one, yeah. a movie that you don't think about that is summer. Like, what the fuck? We, we just had this conversation about an honorable mention. I don't understand the logic. Is that what I'm saying? Whatever. You don't know my life. All right. That's all I'm saying. Okay. That's I fine. would never go. I would never talk about like, oh, you know, I don't really think about... um uh, I would never think. I would really never think about Die Hard as a Christmas movie, but it's my number one. Like, what the fuck? That would be weird. Yeah. That would be weird. Okay. I stand that it is a Christmas movie. Oh, I think it, I think it is a one. Christmas movie. Uh, just you know, that's fine. But, Whatever. But right, I Dave. really don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because every year it comes. This fucking same argument comes up every year, yeah. and it's always the girls against the guys. And I'm just like, I don't. You know, I'm not gonna die. It on really this doesn't matter. I'm it's not gonna die on this movie. mountain. I'm not gonna yeah. die on this hill for this fucking Chris. Is it or is it not a Christmas movie? I'm not gonna die on the hill for the fucking for this argument. <laughs> You're not gonna die hard, that's for sure. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Look at her. You're welcome. Go ahead, babe. I'm sorry. My uh... <laughs> dragon <the> musical. <laughs> Fuck. I don't want to watch that movie. I can, yeah. I know, I can play so something else if you. Great. Not almost famous, but the fucking other ones. Yeah. We're getting uh, My number one is National Lampoon's Vacation. Great. Classic. Um, Amazing. My, my parents, and I think I've mentioned this before on the podcast, uh, every summer would uh, pack uh, my sisters and me into their RV and they would drive. And every summer we had a different place that we would go. And I'm very grateful for it because uh, I've seen much of this country because of that. However, <laughs> all the shit that goes wrong in vacation yeah. is exactly the fucking shit that goes wrong yep. when you pack up a whole family into an RV yeah. and go driving around this fucking country. Starting with the very first scene where Clark gets into the car dealership. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't seen this movie. You've never seen this? I've seen bits and pieces of it. I've never sat down and seen the whole movie. Oh, okay. I've seen bits and pieces. I saw the I saw the pieces. Like I could I can name you bits and pieces. Right. I can name you the part of Wally World. I can name you yeah. the part. Well, that's where the John Candy comes in. He doesn't come in until the end. Yeah, at the hotel with the uh, with the hot chick in the swimming pool. Christy Brinkley. Yeah, she's yeah. yeah. And so I, I can name you scenes, mm -hmm. but I can't. I've never sat down and watched the entire movie. I don't know that part of about the dealership. Uh, Why? I don't. I don't want to give away too much of the movie then because. You really should watch this. Yeah. Right. But it's 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 that that whole Mur Murphy's Law, everything that yeah. could happen. It's every gonna, it's yeah. every National Lampoon's vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's ex everything. Ex exactly. It's every, I, like I to, I went to North Carolina with the family in during Christmas last year, mm -hmm. and we kept getting stuck in the mud, and mm -hmm. the car got in a fucking. Yeah, and, but my cousin, cousin Vinny told you how to get out of that. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then um, I kept getting stuck in the mud, and then there was another thing where happened. There was another car issue, where we, like went into like a dibbit. It it wasn't a mud thing. It was like, I don't know whatever the fuck. And but it was really like I looked at Vanessa and my wife, and I was just like, yeah, this is really a National Lampoon's vacation. Mm -hmm. Like I just like it was one of those things where everything that could go yeah. wrong did go right. wrong. Luggage got lost, shit like everything. 
So I get that it happens yeah. in every movies, but yeah, it's I, I just haven't seen this the first one. I do think that this one is a cut above the rest. I think they're all good. No, the original has something that it's there's it's, yeah, there is something special about that one and I, I really enjoy European vacation and Christmas vacation. Christmas is my favorite, but again I haven't seen the original. So right. I, 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 I Christmas is probably my second favorite. Tied with, uh, or maybe just a little bit above the actually the the newest one. The I newest was really one was fun. one of my honorable yeah, it's, mentions, it's and it's great because it's Rusty taking his family to Wally. Yeah, I've seen it. It's fantastic. I, it. I love um, it. So I, I had too much heart. <laughs> I'm being honest. Yeah, I saw the movie and I'm like, ah, oh, it's too fucking sappy. Right. What well, you know? And that's Thor was in it. That was great. He, he was him and his huge cock. Oh Jeez. my gosh, oh, that's so that was delicious. Was great, yeah. Yeah, all right there. Oh, calm down there. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm a woman. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm a straight woman. I, yeah. I don't know what you want me to do. Yeah. Well, you guys do sit here and talk well, about tits all the time, no, but no, I can't say that Chris no, no. Hemsworth's dick is delicious. No, we all talk, We all said Chris Hemsworth's dick was delicious. It's that when you said it, it's a little weird. Yeah. It's a little weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three dudes say it. That's funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Calm down, sure. lady. Put in your pants. <laughs> your husband's right there. Like, it's okay. Chris, Chris Hemsworth is my... some decorum. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Do you know what that word means? Me, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Anyways, what was your talk about your number one? Uh, <laughs> the, the Try same, to avoid this question. The same way. Spell decorum. That, uh, <laughs> I spelled it the other day when I wrote in a text. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't, but Siri did, but you know what I'm saying. Okay. Same thing. That's the same. Same, same. D E R M. Siri, spell decorum. <laughs> <laughs> now, now send that to Stephanie. Yeah, now send that to Stephanie Ulula. Ulula, <laughs> uh, 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 The same way that uh, that Clark and Rusty have like those little band to man conversations, you know, where Rusty doesn't give a fuck what he's talking about. Yeah, right. And Clark is just like, is this the one where Rusty's Johnny Galecki? No, that's no, Christmas that's Vacation. Christmas. Oh, okay. No, in this because I know the kids change in every in this, movie. Yeah, in this one it's uh, Anthony Michael, Michael Hall. Hall. Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, which was one of his first movies, probably, um, if not his first, with because he was Hughes. younger than these other ones. Yeah, the other movies. Um, because John Hughes wrote this one. Um, I think he was uncredited when he wrote this <clears> one. <throat> but uh, but yeah, I mean, it, everything about it is funny. From starting with with the car dealership. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, 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 don't want to give it, it away. I don't want to give it away. I, I, now. I just like the fact that you keep so. laughing at this. I'm like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, you, f- the first time you meet cousin Eddie. Yeah, cousin uh, Eddie on Edna. Um, Bro, fucking on that Edna's whole scenes amazing. with that Edna. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Where she turns tricks for money, classic. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm down. Yeah. Uh, asking for directions in the black neighborhood is fucking hilarious. Shit, uh, you can't do now. No, you can't. You can't do that sort of stuff now. Um, it's uh, it's fantastic, Neri. I I really recommend you watch this, and specifically because of the the history that I have with driving road trips in in America. This this holds a very special place in my heart, and um, I uh, the last road trip you were on, you were texting us that you hated everything. You were hating. That's because we were with my parents. Yeah, that's. I didn't want to say that. That's okay. That's okay. It's a, it's a very different. Listen, scenario. my <laughs> listeners, the listeners know that my mom is no picnic. It's yeah. okay. So yeah. I didn't want to. I wasn't gonna throw people out, but you were like, uh, "Kill me, kill me now." No, like, no, that was the text message was that I was getting. The worst. <laughs> I, I kill it was me, kill me the now. worst. Yeah. Never, never again doing this shit. Nope. Holy fuck. Nope. If I had not had my uh, my Nintendo Switch with me, I probably would have gone fucking nuts. Yeah. yeah no, it was awful. Right. I, I agree. My three year old at the time behaved better. Than my mother. Oh. That's fine. Moving on. Jeffrey. Okay. My, I know so, what both your number ones is at this point. My, well, yeah. my number Stable. one summer movie is Winter's Bone. No, nice. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Man, I've been forgetting to write down number ones. I'm sorry. Uh, Steph, your number one was... That's right. Not a summer movie. Nah, <laughs> I know what you did not do on winter. What? Um... <laughs> not another summer movie. Snowpiercer. That oh, was her oh, number really? one. <laughs> The Gray. It was almost famous. Almost famous. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. Almost famous. Should have been called Almost a Summer Movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> almost a legitimate pick for this movie. Fuck you guys. I don't care. All right, I, uh, could, I could call an audible and do the goofy movie if you'd rather me do that. No, 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 no. This is We're going to hold this over your head for a long time. That's fine. <laughs> hold it over uh, my head. I don't give a fuck. I love this movie. Christmas with the Cranks. So, yeah, Neri, <laughs> you and I have the same number one. We do. We do. I, I, I almost feel like calling an audible, to be honest with you, but I, saw, I tabled it. So Oh, for the other movie that you showed yeah, me? Yeah. yeah. But but he already tabled it. Yeah, yeah. They so both tabled it. I understand, but if you want to call the audible, changes. you can. No, no, it's fine. What's it's, the other movie? 
we thought about he remembered i remembered one when he was talking about summer of 84 and i was like oh fuck this is this the one you showed me yes yeah. call the audible yeah 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 so anyways call your number one sure so my number one is the sandlot we can talk about my number three now. yes yeah. um this is the You're first killing me small oh th- when i think so of a summer movie this is, i think this of, was this literally the very movie. first movie i thought of yeah it was this one and then almost famous but those are the two <laughs> that i thought of <laughs> You get it because I didn't think of summer because you get it. Right. Uh, anyway, cool. <laughs> but um, but the Sandlot. Unlike to me, Missy, who does not stand by her talkie talkie first pick, I will stand ooh, by my first pick. Yeah, yeah, wow. that's fine. I don't give a fuck. Damn. Yeah, but you see, talkie talkie actually followed the guidelines. It actually came out yeah, in the year that it's supposed so, to come sure. out. Sure, no and problem. This isn't a summer movie. It's so. a okay, so, fine. So um, the Sandlot to me is the quintessential summer movie. Um, French. You've got friendship. You've got. So the love, discovery. love interest, lo- the love, it, yeah. Oh, the dog, Wendy, Wendy Pepper, Pepper. Wendy Pepper. Pepper. Where's all the that. Port? Where's the oiling, have the Funko. lotioning? Oh, there she goes. Oiling and lotioning. I, I can't, can't take it anymore. anymore. <laughs> and it's it's quotable even to this day. Yeah, like you're killing me, Smalls. You see people with shirts. Oh, I I, I I send that gift routinely on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. When somebody says something, I'm like, you're killing me, Smalls, and not to you guys specific- right. specifically. That's a thing that I'll send out, and I'll, I'll send out in, in on Twitter, and I'll send out uh, with my other group of friends. Like, it would just be like, I send out that You're Killing Me Smalls routinely. I would say twice a week I send out You're Killing that, Me Smalls. That's a movie that holds up even to this day when Legit. you're an adult. Legit. And, like, it's just... Here's what I love about that movie is that it's an it's a real movie about what kids really do during the summer. Right. Yeah. As much as everybody, and I get it, I'm not... Ta- this is not me bashing any of these movies. So, as much as people love the Goonies and... And, um, you know, Home Alone and shit like that. It's not a typical it's not thing that happens. That, those aren't realistic. We're not, we're not, no, we're not fucking I'm sorry. MacGyvers. I found a treasure map and it led me to a gold pirate ship yeah. when I was a child. No, like, you know what I mean? Like, nobody's building those gadgets and nobody, like, as a kid, no, that's not really, it, it may happen in your head as you're in your imagination. Cause I had a, I did not have a rich grandparents that didn't buy me a fucking, you know, Pony. Um, but, uh, I, uh, I had a pony. Um, <laughs> but, uh, in my imagination, I would do create, like, I would watch movies and, you know, like, again, I've talked about this a million times holding fucking Kumite, uh, uh, uh blood sport battles in my room. <laughs> so, yeah, I did that in my head, but in real life, I did things like that. Like, I, spe- I could recall summers hanging out of my house with all my, all the neighborhood guys coming over and yeah. just eating shit, watching movies or, or, you know, movies that we're not supposed to be watching at that right. age and, you know, shit like that. So it, it was it's so relatable. As and, a and kid even, and as an adult, you just... Even the, the the one piece of kind of, I don't want to say supernatural, but like mythical aspect yeah, of yeah. it with the beast yeah. Yeah, was still realistic. It was a big, you know, it was a, a big, big dog. dog. And, then when, and when you're a kid, you... The put, dog you that looked to be 199 yeah. Yeah. in dog That years. dog yeah. is, is a beast. Yeah. You know? You know and it was you, the same Bernard, no? And, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't yeah, remember. I, think so. I haven't I think seen it. it and then really it has, long it has time. James Earl Jones in it. It's yeah. got Dennis Leary in it. He's the dad. I mean, the, the, the whole thing with the the ball that yeah. it turns into. Then it turns into that we need to figure out how to get this ball back, and they start doing the inventions in the clubhouse. Yeah. Like, Signed by some lady, <laughs> Ruth, it's ba- ba- baby, baby Ruth, it's ba- 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 babe Ruth, the great Bambino. That's, That's the, the guy. Same guy? <laughs> Like the I Sultan ju- of SWAT. The yeah. Sultan and of SWAT. Who the fuck didn't want to be Benny the Jet Rodriguez when you were oh, younger? Yeah. That's that's why Skinny? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what that's I wanted why, to be. That's why all the sneakers that I have are PF Flyers. There you go. Yeah, because that's what he had was the PF Flyers. Yeah. Both pair. And ham. Ham Porter. <laughs> was... All the sneakers are like you have two pairs. No. <laughs> And how then, many pairs of sneakers do you have? How many pairs? It's like five. PF flyers? Or just sneakers in general? I was just you sneakers? said all. You said all sneakers. I'm assuming you. I mean, I have sneakers that people have gifted me that I don't really wear. Yeah, those aren't. Those yeah. don't count. I have one, two. You have five. Three, four, five. Yeah, five. Uh-huh. And all, all of. <laughs> I like the fact that Stephanie's yeah. like, um, just because I don't know what a summer movie is doesn't mean <laughs> I don't know how many <laughs> sneakers you have. Yeah. <laughs> And they're all PF flyers. But yeah, I, I just I just absolutely love that movie, and and I think it's one of these ones that holds the test of time, and it you know it, it's it's, it's just brilliantly done, and they didn't have to do a sequel, but they did. Um, and they did two of them, I think. Did they? There was a three. Uh, I don't know. Never I, I've never sequel. seen any. I of the haven't sequels. seen either of them. I didn't even know. I didn't even remember the war sequence until you mentioned. It. I go, oh, that's right. I think I saw something about it. But I've never and then seen you it. see Benny the Jet grow up to have a, a, a pedophile's mustache. Yeah. Like it was, it was nice. Um, you know what? One of the interesting things about this movie was, and obviously it takes place in the past because he's yeah, it's a fifties. He's sixties. Uh, sixties. I think it's sixty four. 
Oh, okay. They, they they tell you the year at some point, but um, it's obviously in the past because he's you know it's a flashback to when right. he was growing up as a kid. But while I was watching the movie, I never got the impression that this was the sixties. You it felt was, like it was just it was, modern it was time. Me and my group of friends, right? You know, and we had Nintendo. I legit which, didn't know it was which, the 60s. I thought it was the 80s. Yeah. Until like right now. Yeah. I'm not kidding. And, and, and that, that, was, that was one of the things that I always connected with the movie with because we had Nintendo and, you know, we had, you know, real TV. You didn't have to like fucking watch the news and shit, you know. Uh, and we... Real TV, you know, <laughs> not the news. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we didn't have to sit in front of the radio, you know, to wait for, for the fucking presidential address, you know, right. uh, fireside chats and shit. But, you know, we... Fireside. <laughs> <laughs> or can you imagine that with this fucking administration? Oh, Fireside chats with that shit. Oh my god! There's only so many hell hydras you could do in a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember as a kid going out and like playing baseball and football and and basketball, doing all these things. You know, swimming, just doing all that stuff outside with my friends in the summer. That's what summer was about. Yeah, I remember one time uh, playing uh, baseball with my friends uh, and ran around across the street over there. Mm-hmm. They were just hitting pop flies to me so I could just catch it easily because baseball is not really my thing, uh, and, uh, which would be proven in two seconds of this story. <laughs> uh, and then one of them, I'm like, oh, I'm getting cocky. I'm like, oh, these are, these are easy to catch, right? And one of them, I, I get blinded by the sun, and uh-huh. the fucking ball lands right on my chest. Dude. Oh, shit. Boom. I'm like, <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> so it takes my air out. <gasps> And then the, the so then I recover, I get my air back, and then the pain of the actual right. fucking ball hitting my chest, like, ah, ah, and, it was, <laughs> and it reminded me of the sideline. I was like, yeah, yeah, I got a fucking black eye where that kid got a black eye from, yeah, it's the same shit. I was like, yeah, that's pretty. Cool. Yeah, so right. that's my number one. Nice. All right. Uh, my uh, number one is Audible, and the only reason I did that is because uh, we had the same number one, me and Jeff. Jeff and I uh, is Final Girls, I which is love this fantastic. Movie. My favorite horror movie of all time. Uh, I watched this movie a couple of years ago. I've talked about it on the podcast before. Um, it's a spoof on all the eighty slasher movies mm-hmm. and kind of does it brilliantly. Um, Specifically I, targets the Friday the Thirteenth series. Yeah, 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 yeah. That whole camp. I mean, it, it touches upon all of them. Yeah, right? yeah. That's but you're the, right because it's based upon a camp and the right. whole thing and a masked guy and. Um, but I just love the way it was done. I love everything about it. I'm very disappointed that it hasn't been a sequel. Um, it's got a lot of heart. You want to talk about a movie that's got heart. Yeah. And I just really do love everything about that movie. Uh, it, I remember watching it going like, this is my favorite horror movie of all time. Like, it was so fucking great. And but it's also I, really funny. I would never yeah. thought of it as a summer movie until when you started talking about summer of 84. And the moment you said summer of 84, I go, oh, fuck. Like, I just, just the mm-hmm. title, I was like, oh, shit, I forgot this fucking movie. Uh, and uh, part, I, I mean, I'll take the blame for not remembering, but also when you Google summer movies, it this, never it, comes it up. It never comes up. And it very much should. Um, so it's very meta. It's, uh, I don't want to ruin it for people, but it's, it's fucking fantastic. I think, you know, I should go watch it. I'm not going to go wax poetically about it again because I've done it on three different podcasts, <laughs> on three different uh, shows. So, um, anyways, so it's, uh, final, final girls, uh, it stars, there's a, the girl from the Watchmen is in it. Yeah. Uh, uh Malin Ackerman. Yeah. That hot chick. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Smoking. Um, so she's in it and. Who uh, ages like Paul Rudd. Yeah. Yeah. She was, yeah. She, I think she, did she play a, she played a teenager in this movie, right? Yeah. She played a, or a teenager or like early 20s or something. Uh, but she was, not, yeah. she was not in her 20s in this uh, movie. Adam, no. Adam Devine's in it. Nina Dobrev's in it. Uh, Taisa Farmiga is Tom, the... Thomas Middle Tittlich. <laughs> He's the, bro- the one that's the brother that's the expert on horror movies. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. So he's Randy from Scream? Yeah. Scream. Mm-hmm. But in a good movie. Um, so, fuck you! Scream is great. No, it's not. Get the fuck out of here! It's not. Uh, so, anyway, so that it's a. Uh, I love this movie. Friend. It's it's again, favorite horror movie, man. Hands down, like it's not even close to me. Second would be The Exorcist, I think. If I had to choose a part two, a second place. So, uh, Final Girls. It's like The Exorcist except without plot holes. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> that's a uh, that's a sh- uh, that's a callback to a Shiver episode. So check hey, out Shiver. First shiver episode. number one. Mm-hmm. Number one, number one. Anyways, that's uh that's our picks, right? Is that weird? Yeah. yeah there's so, only one repeat. Yeah. Um, Sandlot. Yeah. Right. 
Which is yeah, Sandlot. All right, so uh, do you want to just go all our number ones? No. They don't want to put Almost Famous on the moon. Oh. Because <laughs> I want to put four summer movies on the number one. <laughs> uh, so which ones would you guys... Um, what had America Summer... Uh, let me go through the list. So we got Summer of Sam, Great Outdoors... I'm sorry, that was my list. Shit. Crossroads, <laughs> Friday the 13th, Part 6, Summer School, Summer of Sam, Euro Trip, Sandlot, uh, What had America Summer... Uh, Great Outdoors, Adam's Family Values, uh, Summer of 84, One Crazy Summer, What About Bob, uh, Almost Famous, National Lampoon's Vacation, Sandlot. I, th- I would I, not even watch the movie, National Lampoon's Vacation is yeah, like that very be, much that should be quintessential yeah. uh, uh, summer movie. So, National Lampoon's Vacation. Um, so, we got Sandlot and National Lampoon's Vacation. Whatever you guys want to throw up there. Anything that's not called Almost Famous. I'd be more than happy to struggle. <laughs> Is anybody going to suggest Almost Famous? I mean, you guys are going to shoot me down, so what's the point? Good. All right. We're learning. I'm just going uh, to throw it out because a lot of people did have it on their list was Wet Hot American Summer. A lot of people did have I mean, it. A lot of people it. had Euro Trip too, so I'll fight yeah. for Euro Trip. Euro Trip and, uh, yeah, Euro Trip, Wet Hot American Summer. Yeah. Um, I will say that Wood Hot America Summer is more of a summer movie than Eurotrip in the sense of like when you think of it, you, yeah. you think of summer movies, but Eurotrip is fantastic. Uh, I'm not disagreeing with any of these picks. Okay. So, How about those are the four? All right. So Eurotrip and Wood Hot America Summer. There you go. All right. So we got Wood Hot America or uh, Euro. Uh, Wood Hot America Summer, Eurotrip, National Lampoon's Vacation, and Sandlot. Anybody get a perfect monster? No. No. There's only one repeat. One, right? I'm off by two. Hmm. Because I didn't have, uh, didn't I didn't have National trip. Lampoon. I didn't get a single one on the list. I, did, I was the only... I, I had summer school, and I figured not a lot of people would, would go for that. I just liked that I movie. knew Summer of 84 was... Well, once I put so, once I put uh, Summer of Sam, I was like, this is not going to That's happen. a great pick, though. That is a great pick. I, I'm happy with my mountain. I, I With my list. Uh, oh, me too. Uh, the fact that none of my made the final mountain i'm fine with but uh yeah the only way i would have been happy with this mountain is if i could have had a 4b and a b hot rod <laughs> i've never seen hot in rod. fact i would like to throw hot rod for contention <laughs> <laughs> for no, we already made the mountain stop <laughs> did it not even it didn't even make your mountain. it was an honorable mention yeah but you can't uh, nominate honorable mentions i would like the mountain. audible hot rod to, to <laughs> my number one <laughs> um all right, so that's our mountain. Uh, thank you guys for checking us out. Make sure you guys check out the other podcasts on the Geek Bro Network, uh, including the aforementioned Shiver, a horror movie podcast, uh, the What's Up Bro podcast, which just released a new episode last week. So check that out. Uh, the uh, Mamas of Merlot, Talking Geek, Comedy Fitness, Better Let Me Tell You, Zero's on Hero, and, of course, Morbid Curiosity. Uh, so make sure you check that out. Uh, check out my comedy page at Nary Science Comedy. Uh, on Facebook, everything's at whatwashisname.com. Check out Dave's band at Naked Vengeance. They have a gig coming up. Yeah. Uh, this w- When is this coming out? Next, Next Monday. Week. Next Monday? Yeah. All right. So we'll have had a gig on Saturday. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Saturday that just passed. And uh, we'll be playing July 10th right. at uh, Words and Wine. Words and Wine. Right on. And then uh, Stephanie in, and Mamas are going to be at Supercon. Yes. So if you're in the area, we have a panel the, on Saturday, July 5th at 8:45 p.m. So if you're if you're in the area of uh, South uh, South Miami uh, or in Florida, just go to Florida Supercon and they have a panel on Saturday. So make sure you guys check them out. Her event planning coordinating is amazing. So check out her page at, on Instagram you. at events underscore by underscore the letter U. So that's events by you. And it's eventsbyu.com. Correct. Again, that's the letter U, not the word U. Uh, eventsbyu.com. So make sure you check her out. She's really great at her job. Uh, and then my comedy, again, is nerysigns.com or whatwasnerysigns.com. And that's how lists are made. Thank you, guys. <laughs>